Welcome to the Jones Center here in Springdale, Arkansas, where your Arkansas Razorbacks get set to take on the Dallas Baptist University Patriots. Alongside me today is Matt Martins, Lauren McLean, Corey Porter. My name's EJ Sanders. As we get set to go here at the Jones Center, a packed house here tonight as the Arkansas Razorbacks are wearing their military night uniforms and getting ready to go against their divisional rival. Corey, Arkansas is 14-0 all-time against this Patriots team, and they're looking to make it 15-16 and 16 this weekend. Yeah, and they're itching to get back out on the ice as they finally do take the ice for the first time this semester. Really started off hot last semester, coming in from last year's national championship runner-up performance. And uh, we do see a couple uh, old familiar faces out there as Brendan Bome is making his first appearance of the season you know he's ready to get going for this Arkansas Razorbacks team got the rookie treatment there as a junior but uh, skating a lap by himself he's out there stretching by himself as his team takes the bench and Arkansas is ready to go in this one they are lining the boards here at the Jones Center tonight hopefully everybody being super safe and cautious as we expect them to be here at the Jones Center. Coach Andrew Falls and Coach Keller Sims on one bench and on the other bench, it's going to be head coach Jim DePaolo and assistant coach Al Spencer. The starting lineups about to be announced here for the Razorbacks. Dallas Baptist is going to start their tried and true in goal at 8-7-3 this season. Randy Miller, the senior goaltender from Houston, Texas, posting a 3.82 goals against average and an 8.96 save percentage. We've seen a lot of Randy Miller, and we've seen him keep this team in games that maybe Arkansas has dominated. Yeah, absolutely. Randy Miller is solid in net. Uh, expect that from him tonight. Plays a lot of games and a lot of minutes for this Dallas Baptist team, and uh, I expect to see him probably for both games this weekend, but he's got a stiff test in front of him tonight with the Arkansas Razorbacks itching to get back out there. But what I like about this Dallas Baptist team is they're not top heavy at all. They got scoring all throughout the lineups with at least six guys with 20 points or more. So uh, this Dallas Baptist team can score up and down the lineup. Arkansas is going to need some of that depth scoring on their side as well. They don't have near that many guys at 20 points. And they have about the same number of games played. DBU has one extra game. Starting lineups for Arkansas, Griffin Sugasawara, the senior. Skating his way out from Capel, Texas. Zach Wilson from Baldwin, Missouri, the captain and the points leader for this team, posting 45 points so far this season. Following him up is Brad Estrada, the El Monte, California native, with 32 points on the year. Then Cam McAtee, the alternate captain from Winsville, Missouri, posting a 36-point season, 18 goals, 18 assists. And then, of course, Jordo Desquier, McKinney, Texas native, Posting three goals, five assists, and eight total points. And end goal for Arkansas, the tried and true as well, Joseph Dusenko. We'll be back here in a moment for the start of this hockey game. Through the perilous fight, for the rest. Players will strap on their helmets and get ready to go for 
a nice little M-A-C-H-A South action between the Arkansas Razorbacks and the DBU Patriots. Corey Porter alongside me, E.J. Sanders. And Arkansas is going to be wearing these digital camo uniforms with the stars and stripes running down both sleeves and the black pants. Meanwhile, on the other side, DBU is going to be wearing their blue uniforms with the red pants and the red uh, striping and the white shoulder yokes. And they'll be skating from right to left in this first period. Yeah, I mean, after this game, actually during this game, Arkansas is going to be auctioning off these jerseys with a portion of the proceeds uh, going to military charities and a portion going to the team as well. So a cool thing there. Unfortunately, it's only for uh, the people that showed up tonight, but several hundred in the arena. They have a couple of veterans of prior wars down there to do the ceremonial puck drop. Hard to see from this angle. Sorry, we couldn't get that for you. But Captain Zach Wilson hands him the puck, and they get set to go here. This is an experienced DBU team boasting three graduate students and a plethora of seniors as well, four or five seniors. We'll see if they can stand up to this number two Arkansas Razorbacks team who have only dropped two games on the season. One to Oklahoma, a Division I team, and the other to Missouri State in a rivalry game. It's been a while since we've seen hockey here at the Jones Center. I'm ready to get started. See how long it takes the players to get their skates under them. DBU had a series last weekend against Arizona State's D3 team to get warmed up for this matchup. Arkansas might have some rubber legs to start this game. They're lined all the way to the DBU bench, and we're getting ready to go here at the Jones Center. Opening faceoff one to the far side. Deskier gonna dump it into the zone. Onside, Estrada after it, back to Deskier. Deskier fires a shot towards net, and Miller makes the first save of the game. Nine seconds gone. Good first save by Miller on the shot there from the point. He's gonna get a lot of work here today, and Arkansas really likes to turn it on early and get that pressure going, and they've done so. Pace off will be to the right of Miller. It's going to be tied up and finally won ahead here by Smith, but Arkansas able to hold the line. Down into the corner now, Canavan after it. Arkansas chasing after the puck into the corner. Already the physicality turned up as those fans are going to make it awkward for these DBU players. So that one's flipped up and out of play there by Fortner. Fortner also the recruiting coordinator for this team. From Cedar Park, Texas, one of the Graduate students on the team from Wichita, Kansas, I'm sorry. 11 goals, nine assists, 20 points on the season. Face off to the left of Miller. Wilson to take it for Arkansas. Wilson against Barrett. Buddy Barrett loses this one. Arkansas back to the point now, held in here by McAtee. McAtee stick handily moved back to the center of the ice, fires a shot wide. Picked up back post, shot fired off the side of the net and picked up in the corner there by Barrett. Barrett, after the puck, flips it along, gets hit there as Austin Hill. And Arkansas is going to go to the box here early. See who they send, Zach Wilson. And the captain notches his fifth and sixth penalty minutes of the season. Yeah, you can see there Wilson just got a little bit ahead of himself through a check to the backside of the DBU player. And Arkansas is going to go on the penalty kill. Avery Smith to take the face off to the left of Dusenka. Going to see some early action here, Joseph Dusenka. Avery Smith wins this one back to the point. Bratton sends it back across, has a man down in the corner. Miller passes it to him. Centering pass out front, tipped in front, and Dusenka was out of position. Nobody home, a huge hit laid on there by Smith. Arkansas trying to hold him in here. Miller at the point. Now back across a shot is blocked up and to the back glass. It's chopped away there by Odeline to the far side boards. Chasing after it there is Arkansas's Hewerman. Down into the corner now. Arkansas looking for the puck. Sorry, that's Scherer. He's trying to body a man off the puck. Scherer can't get a hold of it. Comes to the near side now, and Arkansas is going to chase after it and get it out of the zone. Slipping on his own skate there was Odeline, able to clear it down the ice. And settling it down now are the Patriots. 121 to go here in the power play. Hit laid on on the far side. That was LaPlante sent to the near side. Now Odeline. Odeline tries to clear it out of the zone and does. It comes all the way down, and Arkansas goes for a change. McLean off the ice along with 
his partner in Laplante as well. Down into the zone, trying to work it back along the far side boards. That's Miller, has a man over there. Cruz for checking on him. Picked up here by Beckett. Beckett, outlet pass, comes skittering across the blue line of Arkansas, and Arkansas will pick it up easily. McAtee on the puck now. Cam McAtee, the two-time All-American, on the puck. He'll skate it across the blue line, red line, towards the offensive zone. Gets tripped up by his own guy, Valentini, getting in the way there. Like I said, Arkansas a little bit rusty here in the early going, Corey. Four checking there is Cruz, turning his man away. That was Miller. Miller, far side now on the, on the ice, comes to the near side now, Beckett. Beckett gets hit there. Arkansas trying to skate out of the zone, and they do. And here comes DBU back the other way. This is going to be Barrett. Buddy Barrett gets knocked off the puck, and Arkansas sends it back down the ice. A good kill so far, 18 seconds left in the power play. Near side boards, Cruz giving chase after the puck. He's going to steal it away and skate it down into the corner. Left here for Patterson. Back down to Cruz. Couldn't hit the tape of his man. Went right between his legs. Back the other way comes DBU, but Arkansas settles it down at center ice. 17.20 to go in the period, and Arkansas's penalty expires. Back on the ice is Wilson. He'll head straight to the bench, and Arkansas will regroup. Five-on-five five action now. It's going to be picked up here and banked on the boards. Far side now, Hewerman. Hewerman into the offensive zone. Has a man with him. That's Bome on his first shift. All season long, had a broken arm, I believe. Came back to the point, rotator cuff. As McAtee stick handles through traffic, gets tripped up, no call, back the other way. An outlet pass there by Beckett, couldn't hit his man in stride, and there's a delayed offside. Settling it back down now is LaPlante. LaPlante tried to lift it off of a man out of the zone, but it gets blocked down there, and Arkansas turns it back into the offensive zone. Only momentarily, Bome trying to turn it back in there, wheels it back along far side, boards picked up there by Garcia. Garcia absorbs a hit, Arkansas collects the puck at the blue line. Near side boards now, LaPlante. Arkansas, far side, looking for the outlet pass. Cher going to run after that one as Garcia taps one off the boards and Arkansas steals it away again. They have to clear the offside, and they do. Into the zone comes Arkansas. On the puck here, a centering pass in front. Hits the stick of Cher. Rebound there, Arkansas not able to put it home. And the outlet pass comes all the way out. Anthony Blakely trying to skate it down, but a great back check there by Yance. Chris Yance all over it and able to just get back in time as Anthony Blakely was not able to finish the chance. Lifted back to center ice, Arkansas gonna settle this one down. Arkansas on the puck, centering pass. Shot in front there by Yassin is settled down. And Yassin causing havoc in front of the net here early. Arkansas look like they've had a little bit of trouble getting their legs under them, but were able to successfully kill off that penalty. DBU got set up early, got a shot away, but after that it was all Arkansas able to get control, sending it down the ice and successfully killed off that penalty. Face off will be to the right of Randy Miller. Houston, Texas native. Got him listed at 5'9". Looks like he's a little taller than that. Arkansas ties this faceoff up. Estrada off the faceoff. Shot wide of the net. Wilson almost picked up the rebound behind the net, but went right over the heel of his stick. Arkansas still holding the line. Offensive zone, centering pass here by Sugasawara. Bounds up into the air. Cleared aside, and Estrada couldn't stick it home. Back behind the net now, Miller. Jackson Miller trying to steer it out of the zone, but Arkansas knocks it right back in. Picked up here by Bratton. Bratton far side. It's gloved up and out of play, and it'll be a neutral zone faceoff. 15.25 to go in the first period. Arkansas with a couple chances, but nothing real clean down low. Had a puck trickling at Randy Miller. I don't think he saw it until late. He's just standing there. Then finally sees it, a quick react, and Estrada unable to get it on net. Good job in front, tying him up. Face off outside the zone. It's going to be one back here by DBU. Sent to the near side. Crawford outlet pass is knocked back into the zone there by McAtee. Giving chase into the corner. Picked up here by Hunter Miller. Miller gets forechecked hard there by Arkansas, and they'll clear it back into the zone. Bounces off a player back to the neutral zone, and back the other way come the Patriots. Nice job standing his man up, and McAtee knocks two to the ice. Arkansas meeting the physicality with some of their own. That hasn't really been a lot of what we've seen out of DBU when they've come into this building. They normally try to keep it pretty clean on the ice as Estrada fires a shot well wide, scaring some fans along the boards. The skier down in the corner now, picked up there by Estrada. He gets pinned by Avery Smith. Smith loses the puck. Sugasawara back to the point. McAtee skates it down. Stick handling, throws it through traffic off the post. Sugasawara now in the corner, gathers the puck up. 14.37 to go in the first period. This crowd is ready to pop off. Shot down there is blocked into the corner and it's picked up here again by Arkansas. Only momentarily shielding his man off the puck there was Smith. Arkansas, another quick shot save there by Miller. 
Sugusawar dumped back along. It's picked up momentarily and hooked down to the ice is Wilson. No call. Another stand-up check there, and the better of it there was Sugusawar. Wilson runs after his man. This is a tired DBU line on the ice, and Arkansas keeps the pressure up. McAtee not able to hold the puck in the zone, and back the other way comes Smith. Smith will lift this one up and out of play, and they'll get a change. 14.03 to go in the first. Yeah, as you mentioned, tired legs out there. A lot of physical play going on on both sides. Both sides keeping it clean as well, but good physical hockey going on right now. Base off to the neutral zone here. It's going to be taken here by Valentini. 14.03 to go, first period of action. Valentini to take the face off against Buddy Barrett. Aesop's going to be tied up here and finally steered back by Arkansas. Kind of some confusion there. Finally picked up here by the Arkansas defenseman. Skating ahead with it there is LaPlante. Got a little lazy with the puck, though, and here come the DBU Patriots back the other way. DBU into the zone. Onside here is Austin Hill. Hill gets shoved off the puck in the corner, but picking up after him there is Christian Beckett. Beckett down in the corner. He gets fought there by Arkansas. LaPlante on the puck. It's going to be steered back to the point. A shot there is saved by Dusanka. Quick shot by John Canavan. And Arkansas able to hold on. Yeah, the first real test for Dusenka. Good gritty play behind the net by DBU and find the open man out front. Good quick shot Stand. by Canavan and a good save by Dusenka. Quick face off one back here by DBU. Shot is blocked up and out of play. Nice job there by Odeline. DBU's had a couple chances so far. One on a near breakaway that Blakely was chasing down, but a good back check by Yance. Arkansas wins this face off ahead. Back the other way comes Valentini. Valentini into the offensive zone, and he gets steered aside there by Garcia. Near side boards, Arkansas plays it back along. Puck now down in the corner. It's batted back along there by Barrett. Far side boards and skating out of the zone are the Patriots. Arkansas turns them away in the neutral zone. That's McLean. Bounds a puck ahead, finds Valentini. Onside has Cruz streaking to the net. Gets his stick lifted from behind. A nice play by Garcia. One of those graduate students we were talking about. Another shot there saved down by Miller in Arkansas. Gets the freeze, 13.02 to go in the first. A nice shot from the point, Randy Miller. Sees it all the way in, but nice play right before that by Arturo Garcia. As Valentini was coming in towards the net, had a nice stick lift. As Valentini got in just a little bit too low, waited a little bit too long, and lost a shot opportunity for it. Face off be to the right of Miller. It's gonna be taken here by Ledbetter and Sherrick. Share able to win this one back. It's chipped back into the zone towards net and wide. Yassin battling for it along the boards behind the net. It's picked up here by Arkansas. Has a man at the point. Settled down here by Rees. Rees just able to knock it far enough for DBU to settle it down. Long stretch pass sent down the ice, and they're going to blow it dead for icing. Good hustle on his way back. A little bit of jaw in there between Noah Ledbetter and I believe that's Ian Lotz. A little friendly competition, never hurt anybody. The senior and the freshman, John here early. Early face off into the corner. It's going to be picked up here by Arkansas. Lotz comes away with it. Lotz on the puck, avoids the hit, comes back down to Yassine. Yassine trying to settle the puck down. DBU has been really good with the stick here early. And there's a delayed penalty just as I say that. And it looks like they're going to take a Patriot to the box. Oh, they're going to take an Arkansas Razorback. We'll see who they take. Yeah, they're going to take lots. DBU will have their second power play opportunity of this first period. Unsuccessful on the first one as we sit at 0-0, but they were able to get set up early and they'll be looking to replicate some of that puck control and see if they can sustain it for a little bit longer this time. Face off one back here by DBU, near side now. Trying to work it back along far side, picked up there by Smith. Now down into the corner, it's picked up there by Perez. Perez works it back along, finds Smith. Smith loses the puck near side boards. Arkansas trying to chip it back along, that was Wilson. He gets spilled to the ice, but is able to clear it all the way down. Bratton on the puck now, Bratton. Has Smith on the far side, has a man on the near side, sends it to Smith far side, hits him in the back of the skate. Arkansas pressuring the puck in the neutral zone. Sent weakly along and stolen away here by Sugaswara. One on five into the offensive zone. Sugaswara shots blocked down there by Bratton. And Sugaswara is upended. 
An awkward fall, but he gets right back up and skates back to the neutral zone. McAtee on the puck for Arkansas. And boy, DBU has really brought it tonight. McAtee on it. He gets slashed off the puck, and they do blow that one dead. Boy, that was as clear as day, coming right across the... Coming right across, Fabian Perez, the leader in penalty minutes, has 58 penalty minutes, and he adds two to his total here, and it'll be four on four hockey for the next minute and 11. Good job there by McAtee to draw the penalty. We'll see which four guys they go with on the ice. Deskier skating off right now. Sugasawara on with Estrada, Wilson, and McAtee. Face off one back, McAtee on the puck, chips the puck back to the near side now, picked up here by Arkansas. One time shot save there by Miller. 105 to go here in the four on four, 11.30 left in the first period in Arkansas with a quick shot. Face off will be to the right of Miller. This one's one back here by Estrada, chipped back along and booted back along there by Arkansas. Puck is free into the DBU zone and settled down here. Back the other way comes Hamilton. Hamilton down towards goal. It's going to be picked up here by Estrada. Estrada turning move back behind his own net. Has McAtee if he wants him, but he's going to skate it himself. Near side now finds Wilson. Couldn't control that one was Wilson. And it's picked up here easily by Hamilton. That one's chipped up and out of play. Yeah, Arkansas really likes to try to skate it with their defenseman out of the zone all the way, but a nice pass there to get into the zone. But well, DBU's back checking has been really solid tonight, doing a good job of just kind of lagging behind and getting the stick lifts on this Arkansas team. Far side now picked up here by Canavan. Canavan into the offensive zone, left-handed stick, avoids the hit and an offside there. Had to make a stutter move there as he had a man lining him up. I believe that was Wilson. Might have been Estrada on the far side. We'll have 34 more seconds of four on four action before Arkansas will go on the power play. What will be their first of the game. Face off one here. Arkansas picks this one up. Far side now. Skating with it. Will back skate there by Odeline. Fires it towards the neutral zone. Valentini not waiting for that one. Wasn't ready. The plot sends it back into the zone. That's going to be an icing. So Arkansas have an offensive zone faceoff. 21 seconds left in the Lots minor penalty. A minute 11 left in the Fabian Perez minor penalty. And he is one of their graduate students we were talking about. Arkansas has got some guys that are here for their fourth year and maybe make it a fifth next year. We'll see. LaPlante from the point shot. Five hole save there by Miller. Comes back the other way. This is Ledbetter. His outlet pass is shut down there by Odeline. Stick handling move into the offensive zone. Odeline shuttles it along to the far side. Picked up there by Valentini. He absorbs a hit there from Garcia. Tied up in the far side boards. Tied up in the sticks now. And Arkansas looking to come away with it. But Garcia gets the better of the play. Arkansas on the power play now. It's going to be picked up here. Sent to the near side. And here comes Odeline. Outlet pass. Looking for his man. He's able to filter his way through traffic but loses the puck. And that was Valentini. Stopped down there by Arkansas. Able to... Keep control of it here is Scherer. Back to the point, has Odeline. Winds up a slapper off the crossbar and out of play. That one whistles to the ceiling and Arkansas almost had their first. You get the feeling that this building is going to absolutely erupt when Arkansas gets their first goal. Excellent pass there and Odeline winds it up right from the top of that curling line and right off the crossbar up and out of play. A howitzer of a shot. Wow. Ace off will be to the left of Miller. It's going to be Scherer to take. This one's one back by DBU. Back behind the net. Miller now on the puck. Hunter Miller, far side. Odeline pinching up on the play. Lost it in his skates. It's tied up there. Odeline comes away with it. Lays a pass off here. Scherer. Scherer switching spots with Odeline. Odeline has a man near side. Lays one back off. 15 seconds left in the minor penalty. Shot blocked down by his own man and back to the neutral zone. 9.47 to go. Eight seconds left in the minor penalty, and then we'll have five-on-five five action yet again. Near side boards, LaPlante settles it down, banks the pass hard along, and it's settled down there by Smith and sent back down into the corner. Arkansas gives chase. On it now is Yance. Yance chips it, chips it past the defender. Banked along the far side boards, now picked up there by Hewerman. Hewerman trying to slam it back along. Arkansas getting tied up there, not able to clear their own zone. Near side now. Borlas on the puck, seeing his first action tonight. Far side, dangerous pass, and Dusanka steers it aside. Borlas trying to find his skates. 
Arkansas having trouble with this ice here early. We did notice that this ice was not looking in uh, tip-top form coming in here. There's a lot of spots on the ice that you might be able to pick up on that camera. Look at that excellent camera work. Yeah, it could be a little bit of the ice, could be a little bit of first game action and quite some time since last semester, but DBUs look good. Uh, we can't chalk this up to Arkansas not playing in a while. DBUs putting the pressure on, uh, getting the puck in deep, back checking well, and uh, got an offensive zone face off. They are 0 for 2 on the power play, but uh, if they get any more opportunities, they're going to have to really take advantage of those. Absolutely. Arkansas doesn't want to be the tired team going into the second period. That's where fortunes are made. Nice block of the puck there. Another shot through traffic, able to steer that one aside. Getting the paddle on it there is Dusank. Back the other way, here comes Arkansas. They'll just clear the zone. Sent back along there, far side. Jackson Miller finds his man and it's lifted back towards the Arkansas zone. Below the goal line, picked up here by Arkansas. Slam back along by LaPlante. LaPlante finds his man, outlet here, back the other way. Nice spin move by Patterson, near side now finds Borlas. He'll try to spin around his man. Just dumps it into the zone, giving chase there is Barrett. Barrett gets up ended by a man. No call here. Arkansas fighting for the puck, looking for the send out to the near side. Arkansas, near side of the net. Looking to gather this puck in. Good hard work there below the goal line by Barrett. Barrett gets tied up in the stick again. And Arkansas just retreats. Looks like DBU wants to go for a change, and they will. They have one four checker staying on the ice. That's Beckett. Beckett, their leading goal scorer. 20 goals on the season. Got to watch out for him when he's on the ice. Wearing that 13. Near side now. Back the other way comes Canavan. Canavan dumps one in. Lazily along. Hits the boards. Looks like it hit the door. Down in the corner, takes an awkward bounce. Arkansas able to gather it in. Long outlet pass, finds seen through traffic, trying to work his way through. Lost it in his skates, picked up here by Bevers. Bevers clears the zone. Arkansas on it again. Sent hard to the near side boards, and DBU settles it down. 7.46 to go first period. After it again is Yassine. Yassine on the puck for Arkansas, stopping move in the corner. He gets loaded up and gets the better of his man. Bevers not able to upend Yassine. Yassine's got that. Low center of gravity, and he's able to. He's got a big frame on him, too. He had a nice play coming into the zone. Couldn't quite get past the, his man either, but uh, usually you see he's out there for one thing, and that's to throw the body around, but almost created an offensive chance there and uh, able to absorb a hit as well as he goes to the bench and uh, gets some well-deserved rest. He's the only guy on Arkansas, I believe, that's listed at 200 pounds, and whenever you're playing a lot of guys that are 150, 160, 170, that 30 pounds sure makes a difference. 7.32 to go. First period, still scoreless. And you can just tell this crowd is waiting to Rancy. erupt if Arkansas can get a goal here. This one's one back, Sugasawara back, finds the skier. It's rattled along the boards to the near side, now chasing after it's McAtee. McAtee pinching down, has a man covering for him. That's Sugasawara at the point. He's trickling back out to McAtee. He loses control of it. Sugasawara's got to chase it down, but with a head of steam, the other way comes Smith. Gets the icing waved off. Good back check there by Sugasawara. Lost the puck to the backside. Picked up there. Sent back along there by Smith. Smith to his man in the corner, Fortner. Fortner to the point. Finds his man, Crawford. Crawford loads a shot up, and it's blocked down there in front by Wilson. Arkansas back the other way. Into the zone. Here comes Estrada. Has a man on the back post. Chips a pass in front, looking for McAtee. Bit of a medicine ball there. McAtee lucky he didn't get loaded up there. Back the other way, a big hit laid on there by Sugasawara. The skier on it. He'll just wheel one back behind the net and Arkansas regroups. 6.43 to go, first period of action. McAtee on the puck. McAtee, right-handed stick, stick handling behind his own net. He's pressured there by Perez. McAtee, patient with it. Finally going to send an outlet pass right on the tape of Wilson. Offensive zone onside, looking for a pass, has Estrada. Now McAtee streaking into the zone, curling dot shot saved by that Miller. Rebound there, Arkansas looking for it, couldn't put it home. Another centering pass, hit the stick of Wilson awkwardly. And back the other way comes DBU. LaPlante, good job on the back check there, and Arkansas is able to dump it back into the zone and get a change. 6.09 to go in the first. Back behind the net now, Hunter Miller on the puck. Outlet pass, hits the stick of his man, but Arkansas turns it away at the blue line. Arkansas gathers it back in, Odeline dumps it in, and Estrada goes for the final change on that top line. Yassine, nice little head fake. Through traffic, Yassine's shot is saved. Rebound there and steered aside to the near side by Hamilton. Back to the point, picked up here by Odeline. That one goes up, stays in play, doesn't hit anything until it finally touches netting right at the base. Boy, that would be a home run 
at the polo grounds, but probably nowhere else. Good offensive pressure the last couple minutes from Arkansas. Good patience behind his own net by Cameron McAtee. Usually he likes to skate those up by himself, but being pressured by the DBU defender made a nice outlet pass to Wilson, and Arkansas has been on this end of the ice since. Face off to the left of Miller. Scherer to take it. Ledbetter wins this one to the side. Arkansas ties it back up, though, and now DBU controls it. Lifted back to the neutral zone. Takes a checking move there. Nice little punt by the Patriots. Arkansas able to come away with it. Sent all the way back down the ice. Punting something these Patriots can do but couldn't force the Bills to do last Sunday. It's brutal. Arkansas in the middle of the ice now. Centering pass finds his man. Laplatte fires a shot. Saved by Miller and come crashing into the net there was Yassine. He's lucky he's not getting taked up, taken off here. 5.17 to go, first period. Good shot there by LaPlante, and a good save by Randy Miller as uh, Yassine did knock him over, but definitely slowing up and, and trying not to do that. Uh, DBU recognizing it, and uh, no pushing and shoving there either, but a good save by Randy Miller, and we'll get an offensive zone faceoff for Arkansas in the final five minutes of this scoreless first period. 5.17 to go, first period of action. Still scoreless, like you were saying, Corey. And I think we expected Arkansas to be a little bit slow after the long break. Haven't played since Missouri back in early December. And that was a road game. They were able to take two from Missouri, 10 to four, and I believe eight to four the next night. Not their best defensive showing, but a much better defensive, defensive showing in the first period tonight. Arkansas on the four check. DBU down in the corner there, Bratton chasing after it. Patterson after the puck for Arkansas. Borless down there along with Patterson to scrum for it along the boards. Sent back towards the blue line, but settled down here by the Patriots, and they'll knock it out of the zone. A big hit laid on there by Avery Smith. He's been laying the body in this first period, and that's going to go for an icing. 4.56 to go, first period of action. And it's been back and forth. Arkansas, I think, has had the majority of the possession down in their Ooh. offensive zone. Yeah, big hit there. Yeah, take a look at that hit. Unfortunately for DBU. It comes back down for an icing, and Arkansas will get another offensive zone faceoff. Small price to pay. Hard to say who that was. Might have been Yance, who just came off the ice. Normally plays that defensive spot. Sugasuara to take the faceoff here for Arkansas against Smith. Arkansas, quick shot off the faceoff, and Randy Miller, a quick glove save. Well, Arkansas knows it's all about wearing Randy Miller down. And he's going to come to the end of the ice next period where uh, sometimes the crowd isn't too kind. Yeah, he stayed ready off that faceoff. Quick shot and a nice glove save. Out of the zone comes DBU. They'll chip one ahead into the offensive zone. This is Smith. Fires a shot high. Hits the high window. Arkansas looking to come away with it, and they do. Nice little leave pass there from Estrada. Finds Sukasawar in the zone. Fires a shot wide. Nice save there. Rebound out front. Score! Brad Estrada in this place has officially popped off. Griffin Sugasawara. As we get a hog call, nice leave there by Estrada. And he just follows the play as Sugasawara followed up his own shot, gets the rebound down below the goal line. And Estrada, perfect place, gets that rebound. Looks like he beat Randy Miller glove side, and Arkansas leads this one, one to nothing. 4.32 to go in the first, one to nothing. Arkansas leads, and they're right back on the puck. McAtee with it now below his own goal line. Outlet pass stolen away at the blue line, Canavan. Canavan dumps it back in. It's going to be picked up here by Deskier off the stick of his own man, and back the other way comes Arkansas. Canavan. Weakly off the near side boards, chasing after it now as McAtee has a man in his hip pocket. That's Beckett, leading goal scorer for DBU. Getting upended there is Arkansas's McAtee. Outlet pass near side now. Wilson's got a chance. Wilson into the offensive zone. Stick handling move around one. Lost control of the puck. Sent back to the near side boards and back the other way comes Beckett. Beckett has one man in front of him to beat. And that's the All-American. Gonna be a tough man to beat. Picked up here again by Arkansas, skated ahead and picked up now by McAtee near side boards. Arkansas, offensive zone firing a tough angled shot, hits the window, sit back towards net, but there's only one man back for Arkansas and a nice heady play there to just take that puck away. On it now is Rees, who just came onto the ice. 
for a tired defenseman, and Yance takes it into the zone. I think that was Yance that made that pinching play that saved a three-on-oh break. A wraparound opportunity, and the net comes off its moorings. It has been a little bit weak with the rest of this ice tonight. I think this ice was just not ready for hockey. There was a game before this as well, a youth game, and I wonder if that's uh, compromised a little bit of the integrity of these posts. Arkansas continuing to keep up the offensive pressure since scoring that goal. You know they'd like to go into this first intermission with more than one on the board. Corey, I don't think I've ever seen a crowd like this. We got people watching from the windows outside. Arkansas far side boards, lots fighting for it there. Picked up by Yassin. Yassin whips one towards net high. It's the high glass, picked up here by Beckett, slammed along far side. Now Yassin will gather it in. He settles it down. He's checked there by Miller, but gets the better of his man again. Yassin, a big body to knock off that putty. He, puck. He skates it out front, tries to wheel a shot towards net, and he scores! My goodness! And that is pure power from the power forward, Jacob Yassin. And then he gets his third of the year. And he takes himself a victory lap. Yassine was working hard on the previous shifts, and he does it again there, just stays with the puck. Randy Miller looked like he might have been screened in front. As you take another look at it, Yassine loses it, regains control, and this one goes stick side. Might have hit a man in front as well, but Arkansas leads this one two to nothing. That might go down as unassisted. An excellent play there by Jacob Yassine. The Allen, Texas native scoring here on military night. And Arkansas gets the puck right back into the zone, back the other way, turn back over. And the Patriots just send it down the ice. Patriots playing like a road team now as Arkansas has done a good job here early to really just weather the storm. So this one sent high into the air and a hand pass there is going to be sticked down and that's going to be an offensive zone face off for the Razorbacks. Probably a good touch up there by Ledbetter. So Arkansas had some guys streaking towards the zone. Yeah, back to this crowd though, you can definitely hear it when Arkansas scores. They're lined all along the boards up to both sides. They're outside in the hallway looking in through the windows. Standing room only up here in the top. It's uh, quite an atmosphere. I think the only, only thing we're missing is a band. <laughs> Arkansas wins the ensuing faceoff. Patterson back down low, chipped in front. Arkansas picks up the shot and it goes bounding towards the net. I don't think LaPlante got all of that one. Two and a half to go in the first. Two to nothing, Arkansas leads. Yeah, DBU's got to try to keep up the intensity that they started this period with. Uh, can't let the two goals rattle them, uh, the, the, the goals or the crowd. They got to try to keep their wits about them and uh, stay aggressive. Patterson to take the ensuing faceoff to the left of Miller. It's going to be one ahead here by DBU. They'll chip it out of the zone. Good job by LaPlante knocking his man to the ice, but they're going to call an interference on that. It's blown dead. LaPlante took his man too far across the ice. The ref talking to the bench as well. I don't know if something was said. He must have by heard a DBU something, player, yeah. yep. Yeah, that's how you get a bench minor. LaPlante, LaPlante still standing out on the ice. I don't think he knows that he's going to the box for an interference. Well, Kevin LaPlante still skating back <laughs> into his own zone. <laughs> yeah. He's laughing about it. I think he knows he's supposed to go. I mean, this is a guy who's spent plenty of time in the box this season as well as other seasons. This will be his 70th and 72nd penalty minutes. Nobody knows who took that penalty, and LaPlante still standing out on the ice, skating around with a big um, <laughs> grin, we I might call it, on his face. I think I'm confused. Well, LaPlante knows it's him, but I don't <laughs> think that he wants to go. He's still laughing about it. Yeah. <laughs> There's He's a waiting. long delay trying to sort out who's going to the box. <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> we have replay. They're going to take Odie instead. Wow. Uh, a great job by Kevin LaPlante <laughs> to play it off, <laughs> but instead they lose one of their best penalty killers <laughs> until an Odie. Hey, here, LaPlante. Ah, there we go. Okay. Odeline snitched him out. Yeah. LaPlante, LaPlante to the box. Yeah, it was me. <laughs> it was me, he says, and he knew the whole time. It's not his job to assign himself to the box, yeah, though. The, uh, the, neither the ref or the linesman wanted to go get him. I so mean, I just, wouldn't want to go get him either. Ah, well, <laughs> you know. Face off one back, sent to the near side, now picked up here, shot towards net. Steered aside by an Arkansas defenseman in front. Physicality in the corner there, picked up by McAtee. Near side now, it's going to be picked up by Smith. Stick handling, far side, has his man there. That's Bratton. Bratton's shot is blocked in front. Arkansas after the puck. 
Smith chips it along, finds Fortner. Fortner has a man far side, picked up here by Perez. Perez works it back to the point, trying to hold the line as Braddon has a man checking on him. And Arkansas skates ahead with the puck. Back the other way comes Odeline. Odeline into the zone, just offside. Ooh. He'll whip that puck high and wide. Ooh, I don't know about that. I think he shoveled the puck. Just ahead, and uh, I think Cruz is. I think it was, I mean, if you watch here, I think Cruz was just across. I think Odeline, see, he pushes the puck ahead, and yeah, I think that might have beat tough. it, but uh, the linesman was behind them, and uh, probably the right call. Making the safe call there. That's definitely one I think DVU fans would want. Cruz to take this one. 154 to go. In the period, a minute and a half left in Laplace. Oh, we got some chippiness. Minor penalty. Looked like Perez took exception. And they're going to send him to the box. They're going to take Odeline oh, wow. as well as Perez. I think Odeline was just. That'll remain five on four. Chip XL, the rest referee tonight. Tied up faceoffs, picked up here by DBU, and we got some four on four action here. Not certain if that's correct, but that's what we're going to go with. Four on four for a minute 22. It's going to be the rest of this period almost. Far side now held in here by Forner. He's got to skate it back to the neutral zone. Picked up, lays a lazy pass back to Avery. Whips one to the far side. Settled down there by Miller. Hunter Miller near side finds his man Crawford. Crawford gets stood up there by McAtee. And it's dumped back towards the blue line by Cruz. He took a slash, no call there. Back below the goal line now picked up by Fortner. Fortner wheels one back along, finds Crawford. Crawford back to the blue line, finds his man Kahneman. Kahneman gets checked hard along the boards. A big hit there by Arkansas. They're looking to work this one out of the zone. It's chipped ahead and back the other way comes McLean. McLean offensive zone has Cruz back post pass. Stop down. Nice play there by Hunter Miller. Back the other way, streaking ahead. Here comes Avery Smith, stick handling through one, and nice job by Dusenka. Johnny on the spot to make that save. Whip back down towards the other end, it's still five on four, a power play, I believe. It is hard to tell how many DBU players are on the ice. They've got five out there. They've got only got one of those coincidental minors on the board, though. As this one's gloved down nicely by Dusenka. Steers it aside, finds Yance. Yance, nice stopping move. Able to hold on to the puck. Arkansas sends it back towards the blue line, stolen away into the zone. Barrett, back pass, has a man back to Barrett near side. On his backhand, has to shovel it back along far side there is Hamilton. Hamilton, bank pass to the point. Another shot through traffic, blocked down nicely by Yance. Yance trying to tip it ahead from Bar uh, Barrett. A Barrett able to turn it back into the zone. Arkansas settles it down, and good job by Yance. This one sent down the ice. Arkansas back to five on five action. Estrada not able to settle that one down. 17 seconds left in their minor penalty, so they'll, they'll be in the box for a few seconds to start the second period. Five on five action, 10 seconds left in this period. Arkansas just does not need to concede a late one here. Yeah, DBU now 0 for 3 on the power play. That was a good opportunity, but unable to capitalize. Base off to the right of Dusanka. Sent back to the blue line, settled down here. It's going to be picked up by Bratton. Bratton's going to try to whip a shot towards net. Cruz makes a nice block. Picked up again by Bratton, whiffs on it. Three seconds to go in the period. Arkansas gets it out in front of the net, and it goes back behind the net, and the buzzer goes off. Arkansas takes a 2 to nothing lead into the first intermission. Well, it took a while to get on the board, unable to do so until within the final five minutes of that first period, but able to put two quick ones up, and this crowd just erupted. The loudest hog calls we've ever heard here at the Jones Center in Arkansas, as you mentioned, takes a two-goal lead into that first intermission. Well, Arkansas was able to open the scoring after a long lull in this game, and it felt like DBU had some of the better chances really early on, but able to rebound and get some chances of their own, and Arkansas notched two on the board late in that period. Absolutely. Uh, you know, it's a uh, Good crowd on hand, and Arkansas is going to try to come out and start better than they did in that first period. D DBU is going to try to come out and start exactly like they did in that first period, put the pressure on Arkansas, and try to dig into this lead. Well, we'll be back in about 15 minutes for the start of the second period. Don't go anywhere. Your Arkansas Razorbacks lead, two to nothing.
we're back here at the Jones Center getting ready for the Chuck a Puck action, benefiting the Arkansas Razorbacks hockey team. Alongside me today, again, is Matt Martins, Lauren McLean, Corey Porter. My name's EJ Sanders. And well, they do a military night every once in a while. This is the first one we've had in a while, and it's a packed house. And doing the Chuck a Puck, a winner gets one of those jerseys you're seeing out there tonight from Arkansas, the Stars and Stripes, the uh, digital camo jerseys. So a pretty sweet prize. Looks like we got a couple that are getting pretty close. Again, all of this is a fundraiser for Arkansas's hockey team so that they can go to these national Ooh. tournaments. Oh, somebody got knocked right on the dot. Whoa, another one sliding right through. Oh, oh my centered goodness. Him up too. A couple more pucks coming in late. Yeah, you gotta you gotta have the late ones. You got 30 seconds to throw, so I know that somebody who bought oh, oh, no. oh knocked it out. Oh, Ooh. that's gotta feel bad. Let's see if there's any more stragglers. There's just one hanging around in the middle, trying to curl it in there. I, th I think the winner is the one that had yes. knocked that last one into the center. Ooh, that was a close one yeah. there. Yeah, the one that was helping is the one that's going to end up winning. Yep, last puck coming in oh. now, trickling in. Oh, knocked one a little bit closer. I don't know if it was quite enough. Oh, and that's a buzzer. Oh, my goodness, we uh, have a winner. I don't know. Had they already done the countdown? I mean, I think, I, you know, it's hard to say if he got it off in time. There's a bit of a delay. You know how when you're in a stadium sometimes, it's hard sure, for that noise sure. to travel. So it could have been, they, you know, zero did, seconds over there they, when it was They did pick that one up. So uh, one lucky winner is going to get one of those game-worn camo jerseys. And the rest of the jerseys are up for auction, silent auction for each of the 29, I believe, remaining jerseys here at the Jones Center. I think they'll end that silent auction at the end of the second period. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I... Yeah, I don't know who 791267 is, but congratulations to that person. That was a good toss uh, right at the end, as you said, at or after the buzzer. Maybe it was in the air hard as the say. buzzer went it, off. but Really hard to say. It was well after the buzzer, but hard to say. Either way, we got a winner, and uh, Absolutely. money's going to a good cause, helping this Arkansas team as well as a military charity. Uh, so a uh, good cause there. Same with the jerseys that are being auctioned off and uh, why they clean up the ice. Yeah, and let's, let's talk about that Arkansas Razorbacks team after that first period. Two goals scored. We're going to take you back through the goals here. Arkansas off to a hot start. Sorry, they were off to a slow start. Pretty lethargic, falling all over themselves. But then eventually they got on the board here with an Estrada goal. Nice little touch pass by Estrada that was just off camera there. And Sugasawara was able to skate it in, get two chances on net before Estrada cleaned it up. Yeah, it all started down on their own and just a good breakout there. Just a good breakout and really it was two men on the play. It was a nice touch pass by Estrada, as you mentioned. And then just there to clean up the rebound as Arkansas took the one to nothing lead. And then just several minutes later, we see Yassin battling for the puck. Oh, what a monster. On the side boards and just gets through that traffic in front and beats Randy Miller stick side. What a celebration. Just after an two. effort he took play. An, he took an entire lap around, I'm <laughs> around sure he, the uh, Center ice. I if mean, this team had some oxygen on the bench, I'm sure he would have been huffing and puffing it after that. He he definitely celebrated uh, his third goal of the season right there. And that's where we stand right now as Arkansas takes a 2 to nothing lead into the intermission. And uh, they're getting the ice cleaned up. And Arkansas should be taking the ice here in just a couple more minutes. Yeah, don't go anywhere. We'll be back with the rest of this second period here shortly.
Welcome back to the Jones Center here in Springdale, Arkansas. Alongside me, Matt Martins, Lauren McLean, Corey Porter. My name is EJ Sanders. As we get set to go for this second period of action, fans, in the description below is our GoFundMe if you want to support this broadcast. Any amount ha helps uh, uh, keep this thing going. Everything goes right back into the broadcast. Uh, and when we say that, we mean every single penny goes right back into a piece of equipment that is being used to make this streaming experience better. We did have some technical difficulties at the top of the broadcast, but we were glad to get them sorted out to bring you this excellent action between two Maca South opponents. Yeah, it's good to be here in the Jones Center. And it's funny to think of where we started up in the corner, streaming from just an iPhone with some iPhone headphones. Uh, graduated eventually to a uh, full video broadcast, uh, good audio. Got some replay in there. Yeah, it's, uh, we, we, we try to put out a good product for everybody, so we appreciate everybody's support. Absolutely. Well, second period of action. Joseph Dusanka in net for the Arkansas Razorbacks, and on the other end, it's Randy Miller. Randy Miller, 8-7-3 on the season with a 3-8-2 goals against average and an 8-9-6 save percentage. Dusenka, we didn't get to his stats, but he's 7-0 and with a shutout. Couldn't net a shutout last season. They tried so hard to get him one, and it felt like a late goal would trickle in every single game. But 2.33 goals against average, a 9-1-8 save percentage. As Arkansas gets set to go, second period of action. They'll be skating from right to left, DBU from left to right. Arkansas in the digital camo uniforms. Only three DBU players on the ice currently. We'll see. And we are starting with Odeline and Perez in the box. For seven more seconds. Seven seconds. And they'll probably have to sit a little longer than that as there are five players on the ice for each team. They'll be let out at the first stoppage. Face off at center ice. Going to be taken here. Yeah, physical play in that first period. We'll see if it carries over into the second. Crowd definitely back into it. That break did not settle them down at all. Second period faceoff. Sugasawara wins this one back. Deskier on the puck. He's got a man near side boards. Fires it to him. That's Estrada. A little chip pass ahead. Finds Sugasawara. Left-handed stick. Fires one wide. Sliding right across the ice. Far side boards now. Not able to get it out of the zone with Smith. Near side now. Sugasawara loads up a shot. Shoulder save. Rebound out front. Back to the point. Finds Deskier. Deskier whistles one through traffic. Glove save. Off the back of the keeper and off the back of the net. Finally settled down. 19.37 to go in the second period. I haven't changed that on the scoreboard just yet. And me, a limbing, almost said first. Arkansas starting quick again. A nice shot as Randy Miller made the save. He thought he had it held on to, but able to make the save on the rebound. Face off one back. It's picked up here by Arkansas. McAtee on the puck now. McAtee stick handling around one man. Fortner able to take him off the puck. Fortner, chip pass ahead. Has a man skating ahead, two on one. Avery Smith, man back post, fires a shot. Nice save by Dusenka, and he goes ahead and freezes it. Getting some love from the crowd for his effort. Excellent play there on the two-on-one as Deskier took the pass and allowed Dusenka to step out on the shot. You see him split it there and then commit to taking the pass. And Dusenka knew he had to stop the shot, made the save, able to dive on top of the loose puck, gets the coverage for the stoppage, and keeps a big zero on the board. Certainly a lot of fire for Baptists out there. Based off to the left of the goaltender, Randy Miller. As Avery Smith happened to play there, getting after a couple of Arkansas Razorbacks. I'm sure the jawing on the ice doesn't help. But Arkansas, unlike DBU, is a public university. Can't expect these uh, sweet kids to have a clean mouth all the time. Arkansas down in the corner now. It's going to be picked up. Skating ahead now on the puck. It's going to be Barrett. Barrett centering pass. Out front shot save there by Dusenka. He's been good so far. And with a minute gone in the second, Arkansas has got to get their defensive bearings back. Yeah, nice play there. Dancing around a couple guys and almost a no-look pass there from Barrett. Able to find a man right at the faceoff dot and a quick save or quick shot and a save by Dusenka. Face off one back to the point, picked up here by Garcia, whips one through traffic. Fired wide, Cruz gonna settle it down far side, looking for the outlet pass, he'll send one high into the air. Checks up at center ice, and that one's gloved along, and that's gonna be a hand pass. Cruz loads up a hit, falls to the ice. That's the second intentional hand pass we've seen in the neutral zone by DBU. 
I don't know if they've uh, been been taught something else, but can't do that. Uh, I think both times it's been an all right job of just slowing down the Arkansas rush. They're going to take this to the neutral zone faceoff dot just outside the DBU zone. After the hand pass, it's going to be Valentini to take the faceoff. He's got McLean on the ice with him. Players love this chippy action. Sent back into the neutral zone. It's settled down here by Arkansas. Arkansas trying to get it back out of the zone. And it pops up and out of play. Yeah, Arkansas with an interesting formation on that last faceoff as they had four near the puck, and LaPlante was on the near side boards. Well, you'll see him do it again here. Yeah, they'll do it again. So LaPlante's out of the screen, and they do try to send it over to him. Yeah, I think that's a design set as Arkansas sends that one down towards goal. It's going to be picked up here by Cruz. Arkansas on the puck now. Finally picked up by Beckett. Arkansas turns it back into the zone. Steered aside there by Miller. Picked up here by Valentini. Valentini on the puck. Valentini wheels one towards the center. No one home. Picked up now by Hill. Hill able to skate one towards the blue line and out of the zone. Hill on the puck along with Garcia. Onside, a shot there is blocked down in front. Nice job by LaPlante. Sent to the near side, now picked up by Barrett. Barrett shot, whistled wide. Far side now picked up by Canavan. He'll whiff on that shot there, and Arkansas tries to come away with it. Four on one down low, though. Another quick shot there by Beckett, and Arkansas makes the save. It's Dusenka again in only two minutes of elapsed in this second period and a two to nothing lead. That's such an important save for Dusenka and the ability to hold on to it and not give up the rebound with the amount of DBU bodies in front just waiting for it. As you said, three or four guys right there with only LaPlante back putting a hand in a man's face, but a good save by Dusenka as LaPlante looks like he'll sit down for a couple minutes. Possible to know. I didn't see it, but somehow I believe it. Arkansas skate a player off the ice. To the bench goes Estrada. DBU will go on their fourth power play of the game. Unsuccessful on the first three so far. Two of those picking up penalties of their own before the power play expired. So they have been able to get set up pretty well in the early goings of the power plays, and they do get this face-off in the zone if they're able to win it. They do have some skill setting it up there. Unable to get a whole lot of shots away, but you got a feeling they're going to put one together at some point if Arkansas keeps getting players put in the box. Face-off one back here by Arkansas. Now DBU steals it away off the clearing opportunity. A shot in front tipped up. Towards back behind the net. Arkansas looking for the puck, and that one steered all the way down the ice there by a DBU player looking for the centering pass. That was Smith. It's going to be picked up by Bratton behind the net. Bratton on the puck, far side pass. It's going to be steered aside there by Arkansas. Knocked back into the neutral zone and down the ice. 17.38 to go, second period of action. It's picked up behind the net now by Fortner. Fortner looking to break out near side. Has a man. That's going to be Smith. Smith across the blue line, stolen away there by Scherer. Scherer dumps one back into the zone, and DBU gives chase. 1.27 to go. Second period on this power play for DBU. Back the other way comes Smith. Smith stood up at the blue line. Going to be picked up here by Arkansas and sent back towards the DBU end. Miller settles it back down into the corner. Arkansas going to chase after it into the corner. Bome on the puck. Haven't seen him on a shift in a while. 107 to go here in the period. Puck trickles out. It's going to be picked up here by Arkansas. Back pass finds McAtee. Wheels a shot towards net. Kick saved by Miller. Back to the point, McAtee skates it back, has a man far side. Offs the skated himself, has Beckett in his hip pocket, but McAtee just a little bit faster. Here comes McAtee, across center ice. Here comes McAtee, offensive zone, toe drag through traffic, trying to send one on net, and Miller just freezes the puck. 16.44 to go, second period in Arkansas, clinging to a two to nothing lead. That's Cam McAtee's calling card, coast to coast, nice toe drag move, and another one tries to put it between the legs, just past him but a good defensive play to get the stick tied up, and Randy Miller able to cover it up and get the freeze. Face off one ahead here by Arkansas. Bome checking into the corner, 40 seconds to go, and LaPlante's minor penalty. 
Far side of the ice, it's gonna be picked up there by Crawford. Crawford stick handling through traffic, whipped to the near side. Now Arkansas trying to hold the line. They do momentarily, stick handling by Yance there to get around one, but not another. Bome far side, just lays a back pass off, has his man in his own zone. That's Odelon, he likes to send him all the way down and he does. That one on goal and Miller has to make a save and Arkansas gets an offensive zone face up. Nice punt there from his own zone by Odeline, flips the ice and with that penalty expiring in 19 seconds, Arkansas does have a good penalty kill and uh, can be aggressive on the shorthand. So we'll see how aggressive they decide to get here. Face off to the left of Miller. Going to be Patterson to take it for Arkansas. He'll be taking it against Noah Ledbetter. Ledbetter wins this one far side boards. Blakely outlet pass has a man near side, Canavan. Canavan has to move past Yachts, but a good hit there by Yachts. Odeline on it, whips one off the stanchion and towards the blue line, held in there nicely by Hamilton. Sent back down low, Arkansas on it again. Odeline whips one back towards the other end of the ice, and that's going to kill off the LaPlante minor. Off the, off the bench is LaPlante, and back onto the bench is LaPlante as Borlas comes on. Borlas steals it away, behind the net, rebound out front, comes all the way out to Patterson, still stolen away again by Hewerman, and Hewerman couldn't put it on goal. Another shot, whipped towards that, and Young scores! That one snuck by Randy Miller, a sneaky shot there by Yance. Just gritty play in front, trying to get control of it. And Randy Miller just wasn't ready for it as that puck came to the near side boards. And Yance just a heady play to throw it at the net, knowing the goaltender was scrambling. As you see Yance pinch, pinch down there, and he just sneaks it in. And Arkansas leads this one three to nothing as the third hog call of the night breaks out among this packed crowd at the Jones Center. Well, we were talking about depth scoring and Chris Yance gets his second of the season after Jacine got his third of the season and Arkansas's had the depth scoring tonight. Estrada obviously getting one, one of the top goal scorers for Arkansas, but outside of that, it's been all these third and fourth liners getting it done. And defensemen. A little bit of production there from the defenseman, Yance. McEntee back behind his own goal line. He'll try to skate it out now. McEntee on the puck, looking for the outlet. Has Hewerman ahead. Sent all the way down into the zone. That's going to be icy. That's got a little bit too much air under that pass. Sorry, that's not Hewerman. That was motor. Hard to see the names on the jerseys, but I noticed just now that that name is a lot shorter than Hewerman. Well, they are camo. It's supposed to be <laughs> tough to see. Well, Arkansas skates it back into the zone after it behind the net. Now is McAtee. McAtee on the puck. McAtee lifts one into the air. This one slapped down and picked up back in his own zone there. It's going to be picked up here by Garcia. Garcia can't work it out of the zone. Arkansas able to hold the line. It's going to be picked up here by Smith. Smith gets up into there by Borlas down below the goal line. Now Miller. Hunter Miller to the near side boards. And this one clears the zone all the way down. No icing here. McAtee will have time to regroup. He's got Fortner pressuring him. McAtee, weakly along to the near side, looking for the outlet pass. Motor has his man skating ahead into the offensive zone. That's Wilson. Wilson dumps one back to Motor. Motor dumps it into the zone and goes for a change. On the ice now is Estrada. Hard off the boards. Fortner not able to lift it high enough, though, and Arkansas holds the line. Only momentarily. Now picked up by Wilson, and Arkansas turns it back into the zone. Wilson with a burst of speed, trying to work his way past Barrett. Can't quite do so. Barrett gets up ended there. He's on the ice. Arkansas trying to hold the line and can't. After it again is McAtee. He's on a long shift, and this one comes all the way down for an icing. Arkansas able to get a change, while DBU will have to stay on the ice. We'll see if Arkansas can take advantage of that. DBU came out a little bit flat-footed here in this second period. Arkansas able to put up their third goal, and they'll get the advantage of an offensive zone faceoff with tired DBU legs out there. Faceoff will be to the left of Miller. It's going to be taken here by Wilson against Barrett. Arkansas wins this one back and oh, can't mishandling the puck at the point there was LaPlante. Had two penalties, that mishandle there. It's not been a great night so far for LaPlante, but he can turn it around right now. Odeline near side, looking for the stick of Estrada. Arkansas able to hold the blue line. Odeline throws one towards net, hit the stick of Sugasawara. Didn't quite get past Miller though as that one went wide of the net. Stymieing Beckett's rush there was LaPlante. Now Odeline on the puck for Arkansas. Sends one far side, LaPlante looking for the outlet pass. Whiffed on it there. Near side now finds Sugasawara. Into the zone, a three on two, and Sugasawara loses the puck on that rough patch of ice right there. Looks like someone spilled a soda there. Back the other way, it's kicked all the way down the ice, and Arkansas 
Able to chase after it here freely, no icing. After the puck behind the net, that was Miller. Miller up the boards to Beckett. Beckett trying to wheel it out of the zone, but Arkansas settles it down. Randy Miller watches this one behind his own net. Arkansas still with fresher legs than DBU. Centering pass, find Sugasawara off the butt of the stick. Nice save by Miller, shutting down the angle. This one stick down with a high stick. 13.09 to go, second period. Arkansas has extended their lead. Yeah, they're playing well here in the second period. Came out a little bit slow in that first period, but I'm sure they got a talking to in the locker room and came out in the second frame ready to go. Face off one back. It's chipped ahead there by Bevers towards the blue line now, and Arkansas after it. Yance on the puck, has Rees with him. Yance has Bevers for checking him. Now Rees on the puck. Rees, the right handed stick, banks one off the board's far side, chasing after it there. Valentini not able to corral the puck, and here comes Ledbetter back the other direction. That one wheels along the boards, picked up here by Yance. Yance stick handling behind his own net, looking for the outlet pass, has a man off the butt of the stick, and back the other way comes DBU. Outlet pass stolen away easily there by Cruz. Cruz turning it back towards the blue line in his own zone. Now finds his man up the near side boards into the zone comes McLean. After the puck down into the corner there, it's going to be picked up by Miller. Arkansas laying the wood on in the corner. Nice hit there. And Arkansas holds the line momentarily. Yance on the puck. Gets sticked off it there by Ledbetter. Ledbetter with a head of steam back the other way, and Arkansas will check up the offside. Picked up here by Bratton. Far side now. It's sticked into the zone, and Arkansas will chase after. 12-13 to go, second period. On the puck now is McLean. McLean turns it over in front. Arkansas able to come away with the puck momentarily. Here comes Cruz now. Cruz across the blue line, red line into the offensive zone. Puck just gets away from him, able to tip it ahead to himself. Cruz has a man in front, couldn't find Rees, and Cruz gets up ended in the corner. Valentini on it, fires a shot, tough angle, comes wheeling around to the near side boards. Rattles along and now picked up here by DBU. The Patriots back the other way, comes Ledbetter with a little bit of space. Has a man in front, fires a shot, saved down there by Dusenka. Far side boards now, settled down by Bratton. Arkansas on it. And they'll send it back around the boards, near side. 11.36 to go, second period. McLean absorbs a hit. Out of the zone, though, here comes Valentini. Valentini shot, blocked down in front, and back the other way come the Patriots. Smith on the puck, far side, whistles it into the zone, and Arkansas is able to stop the rush. Tied up there is Fortner. Fortner into the corner, back to Smith. Smith lays a pass along, a shot fired towards net, tipped a wide there by an Arkansas player. Down into the corner now, Deskier on the puck, centering pass. Nice job by Rees to steer that one out of danger. That one's played down with a high stick. They're going to say no. We wave it off. Sent back into the zone. Arkansas on it again. Outlet pass. Had a man at the blue line. You seen couldn't settle it down. Was looking for his second of the day. Into the zone. Going to be Hamilton stolen away now by Arkansas. Stick handling again. Far side's going to be picked up here by Lots. Lots on the puck. Lots. Stick handling through traffic, trying to work his way around the net. He's on his backhand, though. He's going to send one back towards the blue line, and Arkansas not able to hold it in. McAtee on it now. McAtee near side finds Lots. Lots has LaPlante near side. LaPlante on the puck. LaPlante into the zone, and Canavan's after. Canavan on the puck, far side. It's banked along the boards. Arkansas looking for it there. They'll settle it down. It's going to be gloved down here by Arkansas, but back the other way comes Canavan. Canavan with a head of steam on the far side hash, fires a shot, handcuffs Dusenka, but he makes the save. 10-14 to go in the second period. I feel like DBU is getting the better of the action here in the latter part of the second period. A lot of time spent down at this end of the ice. Arkansas is able to get it into the zone, but really not getting many shots for it. And Randy Miller hasn't had to work as much as, jo as on, Joseph Dusenka has this period. And Dusenka will have a face-off to his right side. Erickson, you're still horrible. Face-off one back here by Arkansas. They're on the puck, far side now. They're going to work it out of the zones. Borlas had an outlet pass from Motor. Patterson has to turn it back into the zone for the Hogs. Far side now. Patterson, a little give and go. He's on the puck. Lost control of it, and here comes LaPlante on the back check. He's got to stave off Beckett. I've been hunting you, boy. Back behind the net now. LaPlante on the puck for Arkansas. 9.47 to go, second period. Outlet pass finds Borlas. Borlas across red line, blue line, leaves a pass here into the offensive zone. Stick handling move, shot. Nice blocker save by Randy Miller. Arkansas trying to come away with the puck, and they do. Back to the point. McAtee stopping move around one, avoids the hit around another, lays a pass off LaPlante. Shot is tipped up and out of play. 
Nice moves there from Cam McAtee, but as LaPlante got the puck at the blue line, unable to get a good shot away. I think it was a little bit off balance here. Calling for the puck, but it was just away. Had to get that shot away quickly as he had a defender bearing down on him, and that puck sails high and out of play. Face off one back here. It's going to be picked up by Arkansas. Shot from the point goes wide. It's going to be picked up down in the corner here by Odeline. Centering pass stolen away, and Fortner skates it out the other way. Hunter Miller, that is. Hunter across the red line. Drops one into the corner. It's going to be picked up here by Wilson Farside. He upends a man in the corner. That was Hill. Arkansas doing a good job of matching the physicality of DBU from the first period here in the second. Outlet pass, glove down at center ice, able to be settled down there momentarily. Arkansas on it again. This is Suka Sawara with a head of steam into the zone. Dumps one in, takes a weird bounce and almost hit the back of Randy Miller's skate. Able to steer it safely to the near side boards. Picked up here by Bevers. Another shot whistles through traffic. Miller not able to hold on to it. Whistle doesn't go and now it does after Ooh. the puck was free for a good second. Randy Miller did not handle that puck very well and they're lucky to get a quick whistle. Yeah, Jantz learned from his goal, just throw it at the net. A good screen in front by Suga Sawara. Gave Randy Miller trouble with that, but the quick whistle bails him out a little bit. The puck was sailing behind the, the net, but Miller did have some trouble with it. Base off will be to the right of Miller. It's gonna be Suga Sawara to take it. He wins it back, Estrada back to the point near side, now to Skier. To Skier, high circle shots blocked down in front and back the other way. Comes Bratton. Bratton with the block shot, fires one towards net and Watt. It's going to be picked up far side there by Blakely. Blakely centering pass is easily steered aside there by Dusenka. Comes to the near side, now Janssen. Sorry, that's Estrada. Estrada near side now finds Sugasawara. Works his way around Bratton, but Bratton had some help back there. Estrada on it now. Estrada stick handling. Cross far side now, lays the pass off. Offensive zone shot, tipped towards net. Estrada not able to put it in. Far side boards, Hamilton battling for it there along with Wilson. Wilson on the puck for Arkansas. Stick handling behind the net, loses control of it. Bratton gets it out to the near side. Up the boards, here come the Patriots into the offensive zone, but Valentini's able to send it back down the other way. Back to the neutral zone, having to check up the offside are the Patriots and Arkansas able to regroup. 7.54 to go, second period. On the puck now are the Hogs. Behind the net, that's going to be Deskier. The skier has a man four checking him, but Arkansas able to make the breakout happen, and here comes McAtee. McAtee on the puck, around one, into the zone, fires a shot, saved down by Miller. He full committed to that. If McAtee just lays that pass across, I think he had somebody on the back post. Yeah, I think it was a good play by Miller. Really came out and took everything away from McAtee. There were three defenders in front as well, but had he been able to sneak that pass through, he did have Estrada streaking along with another Razorback player, but... Nice play by Miller to cut down that angle. Really sold out for it and it paid off. Face off one back, Odeline on the puck here. He'll throw a shot towards net high and wide. Fortner in the corner now. Fortner hard around the boards near side. Arkansas able to field the puck there. On it there are the Hogs. Back to the point, Odeline trying to trip up his man, but back the other way comes Smith. Smith, centering pass is tipped up and out of play and that scares uh, some of the casuals standing along the boards. Good defensive play there by LaPlante. Now your hands are your Just best. Just keeps uh, the stick busy, pokes that one away. Your hands are your best defense when you're trying to protect yourself from a puck. Got a lot of people ducking away and looking up at it. That's how you get a mark on your forehead. Face off now to the right of Dusenka. Off one back here, but stolen away in front. DBU trying to come away with the puck, and that one doesn't go in. Sputtered wide of the net. Sent to the near side. Now McLean looking to break out. Valentini on the ice along with Cruz. Far side now, Cruz on it. Cruz trying to chip it along in the corner, but it's stolen away into the corner by Perez. Centering pass back to the point, finds its man. That's Garcia. Garcia throws one through traffic wide of the net. Cruz looking for the outlet. Sends one back to the neutral zone. Garcia settles it down there. Graduate student Garcia loses control of it. And it's sent back down into the zone. No icing here. LaPlante on it in the corner. LaPlante backhanded pass has Cruz with some space up the far side. Cruz near side now. Dangerous pass finds his man though. McLean fires a shot. And that one's shouldered out of play there by Randy Miller. Six and a half to go in the second. 
Yeah, good outlet here from Arkansas. Nice pass there. Sneaks under the stick, and McLean's able to get it in deep. But this one saved up and out of play, and Arkansas will get an offensive zone faceoff. And some fresh legs out on the ice. Faceoff will be to the right of Miller. It's going to be taken here by Scherer. Scherer on the ice along with Yance. It's going to be one back here. Lots has a man at the point. Yance throws one through traffic, block down. Here's Lotz skating towards the net, centering pass, has a man out front, backhanded opportunity off the post. Scherer not able to put it home. Bome down there along with his man, that's Lotz. Bome stick lifted off the puck, trying to get up to game speed still. Nice job by Yance. He's been a very good defensive player for this Arkansas team on that second, third pairing. Kind of a hybrid guy as this one sent in front. Nice job by Lotz. Left down in the corner, another centering pass is booted back towards the blue line and out to center ice. On the puck now is Hamilton. Hamilton on it, sends it near side boards, looking for his man, that's Hill. Hill, it's upended by the linesman there, and Arkansas is able to steer it back to center ice again. Hamilton on it, Hamilton. Backhand pass, far side, finds his man Miller near side, now chipped into the zone. No icing here as it's gonna be beat out by Barrett. Barrett on the puck, centering pass, goes off the stick of Dusenka behind the net. Now Valentini on it, has a man near side. Looking for Lotz, but Lotz not able to handle that one. Sent back down into the zone. Dusenka out of the net to play it. He's just going to whip it along the near side boards. Has a man breaking out here. Chipped along the boards, near side into the offensive zone. Here's Lotz. Has a man back post. Just missed the pass. Tried to put it out in front of Beaumay. Couldn't quite do so, and he's going to go for a change. Beaumay, the lone four checker out there on that line. Back the other way. Here comes Hill. Hill works by one. The skier to the near side boards, and Arkansas chips it out of the zone. Arkansas looking to move it back the other way quickly. On the puck, into the offensive zone. This is going to be Patterson. Patterson loads up a nice deep around one man. Centering pass there by Patterson. Couldn't find his man. It's going to be picked up by Hamilton. And this one's sent back down the ice. After it now is going to be McAtee. No icing here. So this one's hit hard around the boards. Near side motor going to field it here for Arkansas. Nice crisp pass. Finds his man Patterson streaking ahead. Patterson centering pass out front. Trickles through. Rebound out front. Slap towards the net. And it's saved down in front. Nice block there by Barrett. Sent back to center ice. And Patterson with a lot of hustle on this shift into the offensive zone. Patterson centering pass, Borlis shot saved again by Miller. And he's able to handle this one, 4.23 to go in the second. Yeah, take a breath there, EJ. As we take a look at this breakout, Arkansas with a couple chances. Nice pass out in front, just trickles in front. Good kick save by Miller. Suing face off one back here by Arkansas. They're trying to jam it back into the zone. Just trying to get possession. Nice job by Wilson. Sent to the near side now, and they'll wheel it back into the zone. This is Deskier. Loads up a shot. Rebound there. Deskier loads it up again. Rebound again. Deskier sends it out front. Shot high and wide of the net. Suga Sawara couldn't put it home. Back to the point. Estrada on it. Has a man streaking back post just out of his reach. Arkansas. It's been a story of rough passing. Looked like he was trying to load up a Michigan there. It was Wilson behind the net. Wilson gets sticked off of it there. Wilson on the puck again, turns it away, just sends it back down into the zone. Arkansas checks up the offside again. Picked up here by Bratton. Bratton on the slow puck in the corner, sends it back to the blue line and down the ice. This one comes all the way down. No icing. LaPlante on it again. Loses control of it, sent to the near side boards. Arkansas controlling it, chipped ahead. Suga Suara with a two on one, has a man back post. Going to load it up instead, blocker save. Estrada back behind the net now, Wilson. Wilson in front, has a man up top, that's McAtee. He skates it to a stick, sent back. Now far side, has a man waiting for it there. As Deskier, his shot is blocked down in front and it's saved by Miller. And Miller throwing some punches. Estrada in a rough area there, but not really certain what happened. I think there's just been a lot of bodies around Miller, and we said something earlier in the game that DBU wasn't really clearing those defenders out. I don't think anything really egregious happened before that, but Miller taking exception, and uh, we'll see if they give him a minor penalty or not as they continue to try to clean it up in front, but a good save by Miller, and really it's been all Arkansas the last couple minutes. A lot of pressure down in this zone, a lot of shots taken. Miller's really had to work after being able to take much of the uh, first half of this period off. And it looks like they're gonna let that one go and we'll stay at even strength five on five. But Arkansas will have an offensive zone faceoff. 
Uh, you got to leave that to your defenseman if you're Randy Miller. We haven't seen him do anything like that before. Not really certain what exactly happened in the action leading up to that, but clearly Randy's been frustrated by the traffic in front of his net tonight. That's something that his defense needs to solve. Picked up here now on the near side boards. McLean looking for the puck. Stick lifted there. Smith loses control of it. Far side now out of the zone comes the captain. That's Jeremy Fortner. Fortner on it. Skates around one, able to duck around the defender. Smith in front looking for a pass back up top. Finds Canavan. Canavan, a shot in front. Tipped down and wide of the net. Jusenka sold out for a near post save. And that one went to the far post. Now after it, here is McLean. Miller out of his net to settle that one down. It's picked up here by Odeline. He'll send it back down into the zone smartly. And a big hit laid on. Odeline absorbed a big hit, and he takes a number down. That was Avery Smith on it again. Avery Smith has been throwing the body tonight. Far side of the ice, Odeline loading up a man. That's Fortner. Odeline instead settles the puck down. McLean realizes he's the man that needs to go after it. LaPlante back in his D spot now. It's been a while since LaPlante's played as well. Arkansas looking to dig the puck out. On the near side boards, scrum for it there, 2-10 to go, second period, 3-0, Arkansas leads. Far side of the ice, into the zone, Odeline just dumps one towards goal. Goes right wide of Randy Miller's glove, comes back to the point, LaPlante with some time to settle it down, has a man out front, throws one towards net. Couldn't hit the stick of his man though, Cruz was streaking to the net. Nice job by Yance, holds the line again. He's been a good, solid defenseman for this Arkansas team, finding himself working some offense as well. As Rees is on the ice with his D partner, Yance with it. This is a third pairing for Arkansas that you can trust. Two, that Yance who's been very good and Rees who's very experienced on that back end. Arkansas trying to get, come away with the puck and they do. Yassine on it now. Stick handling through traffic. Yassine finds a man back post, couldn't find the puck though. Was the Arkansas player. This one comes down for an icing. They finally blow one of those dead. 1.18 to go in the second. That's the third time tonight that we've seen Yassine pick the puck off the boards like that and really just move the puck in traffic. He's got a goal to show for it in that one. He was looking for a man back post, but a good defensive play to break up that pass. But it does end up in an icing, and Arkansas will get an offensive zone faceoff for it. Faceoff to the left of Miller. It's going to be taken here by Buddy Barrett and Zach Wilson. This one's one back, Arkansas with the puck at the point, McAtee, McAtee around one. He's got two men checking him, that means somebody's open. And that's Deskier, Deskier with it. Has a man far side, sends the pass, pass, pass across. Picked up again here by McAtee, rebound there, chipped over the net. 1.02 to go, second period. Sugasawara takes it away, has a man back post, fires a shot, that's McAtee again. Arkansas stealing it off a stick momentarily. Stepping up there is Deskier. He can't quite get the hit on into the zone. Here comes Barrett. That one comes down for an icing. Yeah, Barrett had to just bounce off his stick, unable to control, and it goes down for an ice. Really had a good chance there, but just couldn't control the puck. Looked like he had a two-on-one developing. Final 44 seconds of this second period. Arkansas does lead this three to nothing. Got two goals in the first period. Tacked on the third early in this second period. Base off would be the left of Miller. It's gonna be one back here by Arkansas. 42 seconds to go in the period. That one's sent back down low. It's gonna be picked up here by Wilson. Wilson on the puck. Centering pass out front. Hit wide of the net there by Estrada. He'll chase after it, nice little check in the corner, Arkansas. Able to send it back along, chop back out front, and Estrada's shot goes up and out of play. Late whistle there. Estrada with a little bump as the man goes flailing to the ice. 25.8 Nice chip seconds. in front. Estrada trying to get that shot away, but a good back check prevents it from happening. Face off will be to the right of Miller. We do expect some of this crowd to start filtering out here at the end of this second intermission. But still a great crowd on hand, lining the boards. Arkansas down below the goal line. Now it's going to be LaPlante back at the point. This one's going to be chopped towards the blue line. Here comes DBU back the other way. Near side now, Arkansas back to this neutral zone. 13 seconds to go in the period. Off the boards, picked up here by Arkansas. LaPlante 
to Odeline. Eight seconds to go in the period. Near side now, Laplante. Time for one last Hail Mary. He'll send one down towards goal. This one stick down in front. Borlas chasing after it, and time will expire. Well, Arkansas has had the better chances and is able to capitalize on them, but they can't discount the goaltending they've got from Joseph Dusank. Yeah, DBU's had their chances. It really, it came early in the first period and early in the second period, but the latter half of both of those periods have really belonged to Arkansas, both on the scoreboard and just the eye test. They spent a lot of time in the offensive zone. DBU really able to get un unable to get anything going. They have had four power plays, but not a lot of shots to show for it, and obviously no goals to show for it. So really haven't taken advantage of the few opportunities that they've been given. Well, Arkansas will head into this second intermission with a three-goal lead. They're not out of the woods yet. Stay tuned, 15 minutes to go until this third period and 20 minutes left on the game clock.
Welcome back to the Jones Center here in Springdale, Arkansas, where your Arkansas Razorbacks currently lead by a score of three to nothing. Alongside me is cameraman Matt Martins, our producer today, Lauren McLean. Corey Porter on the co-commentating. My name is EJ Sanders on the play-by-play -play as Arkansas gets set to go here for this third period of action. It's been an excellent game so far here for your Hawks. Able to notch a couple of goals in the first and one more in the second while keeping the clean sheet on the other end for Joseph Dusanka. Yeah, Arkansas's look good so far, and you know they're going to want to come out firing in this third period. The crowd has thinned out a little bit, but it's still probably right now the biggest crowd that we've had all season long. So it's fun to see that. Uh, Arkansas scored three goals, and this crowd has erupted each time with a hawk call as they add in another one here. And DBU really hasn't gotten much going outside of the first couple minutes of each of the first two periods. And they're going to have to come out hot and try to sustain that for the entirety of the third period. And really, it's just getting that first goal on the board as they got a big goose egg right now. Get that first one, and the other ones may follow. But uh, tough task ahead of them trying to keep Arkansas out of the back of the net as well. Randy Miller in goal for the Patriots has looked excellent tonight, giving up a couple goals, but has looked good as always. And on the other end, Joseph. Joseph Dusenka has made some excellent stops and done particularly well with controlling the rebounds, not giving up second chance opportunity to the DBU Patriots. And uh, that's where we sit, Arkansas leading this one 3 to 0, heading into the third. Puck drop here in the third period, getting set to go. Randy Miller in goal still for this Dallas Baptist Patriots team. Let's go, Sugar! Let's go, Center ice face off coming up shortly. 20 minutes will go on the clock, and Arkansas will have to kill off the final 20 minutes with a three goal cushion. Face off one back here by Arkansas. Sent across near side now, McAtee on it. McAtee far side finds his man. It's going to be LaPlante on the puck. Sorry, that's Deskier. Deskier, stick handling behind his own net. 10 seconds to go, or 10 seconds gone, I should say, in this period already. Back to you on the puck. It's going to sit to the far side, picked up here by Sugasawara. Sugasawara fires one into the zone. It's going to be sticked aside there by Miller. Back behind the net now is Bratton. Bratton sends one back across far side, now picked up by Deskier. Dumped back into the zone. Arkansas after it again. Down into the corner now, Derek Bratton on it. Bratton far side, finds a man chipped out of the zone there by Perez, but Arkansas able to hold it in. Sugasawara, stick handling move around one. Can't hold the line, there's McAtee. He'll have to retreat. He'll dump one hard into the zone. Estrada saw his life flash before his eyes as that puck whistled past his ear. Back the other way, though, here comes Smith into the zone. Smith stick handles around one, tries to dump one across, but Estrada able to shut it down along with McAtee. Sugasawara breaking out the near side now. Sugasawara head of steam, blows past one, offensive zone, loads up a shot off the post. Boy, he rung the doorbell on that one, and a nice job by the post to keep it out. Randy, take the post! What a save by the post. Arkansas able to follow up with a second opportunity as we take another look at that. Man, that rang the whole arena. Arkansas able to throw another one at the net right after that, but Randy Miller able to cover up for the freeze. Face off to the left of Miller. It's going to be tied up here. Arkansas can't come away with it. And finally out the far side. Here comes DBU. A one-on-one -on -one into the zone comes Barrett. Barrett throws a pass towards net. It's going to be sticked aside there by Dusenka, retrieving the corner here by Hill. Arkansas tries to stick it back away. It's going to be picked up here by Beckett. Beckett wheels one around near side. Borlas knocks him off the puck momentarily. LaPlante comes over to help out. Down into the corner now Hill. Hill gets sticked off the puck and a nice soccer play ahead there by Patterson. Finds Motor. Motor with a high motor into the zone. He works his way past one between the legs deep. Back post tried to find Borlas. Couldn't hit him. Patterson to the near side now. Patterson lays a pass off. Has LaPlante. LaPlante stick handles around one. High circle shots blocked down in front there by Hamilton. Back around the boards, Borlas in the corner. Borlas loses control of it, and Barrett's going to pick it up and send it to the near side. Streaking ahead, there's Beckett. Beckett gets upended hard by Odeline, and he's going to go to the box. Ooh, I don't know about that call. Looked like he leaned into him with a shoulder. I don't know if we caught that one. Looks like we did. He, uh, he's going to call a knee to knee. There was a little bit of contact there. Those plays can be dangerous, so the referee protecting the player. Face, face off will be to the left of Dusanka. 
This will be the Valentini to take the face off. The fifth power play of the night for DBU. This one's going to be one back here by Smith. Far side now. It's going to be picked up by Perez. Back to the point to Bratton to Perez. Outer hash on the far side circle. Perez stick handling there, looking for a centering pass. Sends one towards net, saved down by Dusenka, and sent down the ice on the backhand by McLean. After it again is Valentini. Down below the goal line, it's going to be picked up here by Randy Miller. Miller sticks one off there and finds his man Hill. Hill looking for the outlet pass near side. Sorry, that was Bratton near side, looking for Fabian Perez. Arkansas on the putt. Near side, it's going to be McLean. McLean dumps one back down the ice. One thirty to go here in the period. Sorry, in the power play. Going to be picked up here. Back behind the net there by Fabian Perez. Perez far side. Now it's going to be dumped back across near side boards. On the puck here is Hunter Miller. He'll leave one there for Bratton. Bratton skating out, skating out of the zone, comes all the way down, and that's going to be an icing. Now they wave it off. It's going to be Deskier now on the puck. Far side, picked up here by Smith. Smith works one along the boards, high into the air, and Arkansas tries to throw it down the ice, and they do. Back to the neutral ice. Cruz after it there for Arkansas, and Hunter Miller picks one up. It's batted back into the zone. They check up the offside to Skier with a minute left here in the penalty. Sends it back down the ice. Whistle and a stoppage here. Good penalty kill so far for the Hogs. DBU unable to get set up in the zone as they have on previous power plays. And Arkansas doing well to kill off this time. Over half of it gone so far with 51 seconds remaining. Face off to the right of Miller. Share to take it for Arkansas, wins this one back. Arkansas not able to hold the line though. And all the way back for it now is Yance. Yance on the puck. D to D pass, finds his man Laplante on the near side. Laplante out of the zone, sends one all the way back down. Miller sticks that one down. It's picked up here by Canavan. Canavan banks one along the boards, near side boards. Now Beckett, Beckett looking to skate it ahead. He gets checked there by Laplante. Laplante on Beckett. Beckett trying to chip one back ahead. Beckett on the puck now. Avoids a hit, avoids a couple of hits, but runs into a plethora of Arkansas defenders. 22 seconds to go. Miller out of his net to play it. Loses the puck to Cruz. Cruz skates ahead in front. Has a man on the drop pass. Ops to skate it out himself. Going to kill off some time instead. Skates it 120 feet back the other way and then takes a man down. No call here. Arkansas takes the puck away and Cruz gets upended there. Big hit. Arkansas far side now. This is LaPlante into the zone. He gets charged after shot there. Miller able to make the save. Shoulder to the side. LaPlante on the puck by himself. Five on five action now. 15.52 to go. Second period of action. Arkansas on the puck again. Arkansas. Yants with it. Yants on his own blue line now. Looking for the outlet pass. And Arkansas will settle it down. Four minutes, 20 seconds gone. Sent to the near side boards. Arkansas, a little leave pass here. Finds Lots through traffic. Lots on the puck far side. Tries to send one back along the boards. Bome chasing after it in the corner. Bome, another pass along. Looking for Lots. A stymie there in the corner by a DBU defender. Scrum for the puck there. It's finally picked up here by Bome. Bome sends one along looking for Lots. He's going to gather it in on the far side. He absorbs a check there from Garcia. Garcia back towards the blue line, and Arkansas can't hold the line. Near side now, McAtee. McAtee. Quick on the possession, chains, throws one towards net. Easy blocker save there by Miller. Kind of casual on that one as it's sent back behind the net for Hamilton. Hamilton shuttles one along. Far side now, Arkansas on the puck again. Centering pass through traffic. Stick the side there by Hamilton. Hamilton, a turning move. Has a man there, but Bome turns him aside. Now Yassine on the puck. A goal scorer tonight for Arkansas. Centering pass. Finds a man up top. Backhand there for McAtee. He's not able to get the shot off. McAtee, far side boards, loses the puck back. The other way comes Beckett. Beckett, a two on two as he loads up a shot and sends one out of play. Dusanka in good position there, and Arkansas gets a stoppage. That'll draw cheers from the crowd as Dusanka sees some of the first action here in the third period. DBU really not able to get much going. Arkansas has spent a lot of time in the other end, has been, which has been the theme of this whole game for the most part. Arkansas controlling time of possession and really a lot of offensive zone time. But DBU still has some time left, and they got an offensive zone faceoff. They got to get it going here. Face off to the left of Dusenka, picked up here by Yance. Yance on the puck, finds Rees. Rees looking for the puck near side. Now sends one up the near side boards, finds Wilson. Looking to work it out of the zone. Sugasawara take it to his knees, no call. Far side now, it's going to be picked up there by Smith. Smith loses the puck though. Near side now, Rees with it. From Yance, sends one back to center ice. Skated along, finds his man far side now, Estrada. Estrada loads up a slapper, and that one whistled high and wide. Near side now, Arkansas looking to pick up the puck. 
Wilson up into the air, looking to gather this puck in, sends it far side, comes up on an end all the way down the ice, and Yance will touch up for the icing. Fabian Perez giving chase, 14.07 to go, third period. Three to nothing, Arkansas leads. Yeah, this game started off real physical, but I think that's died down somewhere around the middle of the second period and really hasn't been a whole lot of hitting going on just yet. No, maybe it's something DBU needs to try to turn up and get something going. Another puck all the way down, another icing. Six minutes gone. Face off to the left. It's gonna be one back here and shuttled in the air there by Sugasawara, but he loses the puck and back the other way comes Fortner. Fortner with a head of steam, a man on the back post looking for the centering pass. Near post, had a man and goes diving to the ice. That was Smith. I don't know if anybody touched, I honestly don't know. Oh no. Yeah, either either he's taking a dive or some kind of non-contact injury. I just didn't see. I, maybe that stick came up, but it looked like it only hit him in the knee. Let's see. Slow it down here. A Ooh, stick. it might have might have got uh, in between the cup there. Maybe, but he kind of fell over like he hit him in the face. I wasn't certain what happened there. I don't know if you've been hitting the cup before, but you fall down a lot like you've been hitting the face. You wear a cup? Ah, uh, when I played hockey. You ever play hockey? No. Face off one back, LaPlante near side now looking for the outlet pass. LaPlante chips one into the air, end over end, far side now. It's going to be picked up here by DBU near side boards. LaPlante throws one towards net and Miller able to hold on to it. Randy Quick whistle, 13.35 to go in the third. Yeah, good save by Miller. I think he saw it the whole way in, but still got to make those saves and holds on for the whistle. That one could have been dangerous. Uh, puck trickled in front, but able to pounce on top of it. Face off one back here by Wilson, back to the point. LaPlante through traffic, tipped in front. Wilson not able to get it on goal. Kind of knocked it straight down. It comes all the way down for icing again. And I think DBU, it's, we see Dallas Baptist come in and put up a fight all the time through th three periods. And it just seems like the third period, they always run out of legs. Yeah, just uh, could be energy deflated. Could be a tough crowd. Could be that they're trying their best and Arkansas is just playing a good defensive game. Yeah, it's tough whenever you get that many rushes and just can't quite put one past a good goaltender in Dusanka. And Dusanka shaking off that four goal performance that Missouri had against him. Back to the near side now, LaPlante. LaPlante shuffles one along to the near side, far side corner, I should say. Booted back along there by Estrada. Left there for LaPlante, not back on defense. Centering pass out front and a good opportunity for Ledbetter. And he wasn't able to put it home. An excellent grade A opportunity. I think it just hit the heel of a stick coming in. Picked up here by Hamilton. Hamilton up the near side now. He's going to bank a pass along. Turn back into the zone by McAtee. Far side now picked up by Miller. Hunter Miller on the puck. Sends one back along. Little through pass here. Finds McAtee's stick. He has a man in the center. McAtee patient with the puck. He's going to skate it around the world. Gets shut down. They know he likes to make that move all the way around the zone to get set up. But DBU shut it down. Miller will leave the puck there. Randy Miller. This one flipped high into the air. It's gloved down. A nice center field play there by McAtee. He was getting chased down there by Beckett. Into the zone now. It's going to be picked up here by Landon Crawford. Crawford back behind the net looking for his man. That's Hunter Miller. Hunter Miller on the puck now. Arkansas trying to steal it away in the offensive zone, and they do. Borless below the goal line, has motor out front. Borless centering pass is off the skate, back up top. Nice stick handling move. Deskier shot saved by Miller. Back out front, Deskier wheels one back towards the net. Rebound there, and finally gloved down by Randy Miller. 11.53 to go in the second, and a couple of excellent saves there by the DBU goaltender. Arkansas picks it up here, just a nice move, and Miller was already sliding across, had to react quickly to that one. And then here gets a little bit casual. That's the third time here in this third period we've seen him kind of make just a casual save. That one almost got him in trouble as that second chance opportunity for Arkansas nearly trickled past the goal line, but Miller able to cover it up and keep it out of the back of the net and keep this a three goal game. Face off, gonna be one back here by Arkansas and they get tied up in their own men. A nice shot there from the point by Deskier. Cruz, a quick centering pass shut down there by Miller. 
Valentini after the puck, now picked up by Avery Smith behind the net, tries to chip one out of the zone and finds Fortner streaky ahead. Kind of bounded over his stick though, and it's picked up by McAtee. He'll wheel it back around his own net and reset. Behind his own cage, Dusenka steps up to the top of his crease, creating some space for his defenseman as this one sent back to the near side boards. Valentini chips it into the zone for himself, fires a shot, stick down in front. After it there was Fabian Perez. Far side now, another shot, whistles towards net. Nice rebound left there for Miller, but for his own team. Around the boards now, Valentini looking for the centering pass. It's blocked down there by Garcia. Garcia sends it near side, and that one's up and out of play. Eight minutes, 55 seconds gone in the third period. Still not a lot of intensity from this DBU team, even though they trail by three goals. Running out of time as we're nearly at the halfway mark of this third period. And Arkansas spending the majority of the time in the offensive zone, keeping the Patriots on their heels. Face off one back. It's going to be picked up here by Canavan. Canavan going to send this one towards center ice. It's knocked away there by Arkansas. Bodies go flailing to the ice. Picked up here by Cher. Centering pass out front. Missed the stick of Yassin. Near side now. Bounces off the boards. Coming out to play. This one's Dusanka. Nice job with the paddle there by Dusenka, lost in the skates of Odeline. Odeline finally able to pick that one up. Odeline lifted into the air, back to center ice. After it, there's Yassin, couldn't control the puck, and back the other way comes Hill. Austin Hill stands a man up on his way in, but Arkansas turns the puck the other way. On the puck now, it's going to be Canavan. Canavan chips one into the zone past a couple of Arkansas defenders. Dusenka comes out to readily play that puck. Rees, near side, now Bome. Bome, outlet pass, far side, hits a stick, bounces into the zone, picked up here by Bratton. No icing, as it didn't quite clear the goal line. Had to hit a stick on the way down as well. It's gonna be picked up here by Barrett. Back to the point, Arkansas with a little space to skate, and that's gonna be a shot, is not gonna be put on, as they blow it dead for a penalty. Yassin, I think an interference here is gonna be the call. I think as the play was developing, Arkansas yeah, he, with a good opportunity. McAtee skating to the high slot. Yeah, and you can see it right there. Yassin just puts a hit on. Let's see, that's Hill. Right in front of the bench. The puck's gone, and Yassin yeah, right just a little bit late on it. Right in front of the referee, and uh, DBU will get their sixth opportunity with a man advantage. I've said it a couple times already, but now's the time. And Dallas Baptist needs to capitalize on one of these power play opportunities. This one's one ahead here by Arkansas. And here comes the one-man penalty kill himself. Trevor McLean with a head of steam. Offensive zone fires a shot save down by Miller. Takes away the near side. He's so good at that. He knows that McLean's a right-handed stick, and it's hard to get that thing to the back post, especially at this level of hockey. But McLean with a good opportunity. Yeah, a good shot for McLean, and really not what DBU was looking for there. Losing the face off and uh, flipping the end of the ice and now having to get a defensive zone face off and kill off more at this time. Just trying to get a break out of your own zone. Face off will be taken by Bome. He's going to go against Beckett here. Tied up here in the skates of the referee. Arkansas looking to pick it out of there. Comes all the way back to McAtee who patiently throws a shot towards that. Block down in front. Bome's shot is saved. And finally tucked away under Miller. And we'll have another stoppage. Boy, a flailing save there by Miller. Yeah, and I think he had it on the rebound there. Good initial save. Bome with the rebound, and the puck trickles away, and DBU defender tucks it under his goaltender. Arkansas was still the majority of chances, even on the short hand right now. But here comes DBU back the other way with a head of steam. Hits Hamilton. He'll send one into the offensive zone, giving chase here is Deskier. Hard around near side. He's going to find his man. McLean not able to pick up the puck. McAtee trying to help him out. McAtee back to the point, dumped back along. McAtee fights his man off, and it's a two-on-one the other way. Here comes McAtee, offensive zone. McAtee loads one up, shoots, saved again by Miller. Had a man streaking to the back post, but Arkansas has got to hustle back. Far side now, Beckett, the 20-goal scorer on the ice right now, has a man back post, rebound there. And Arkansas able to steer it aside. A great back check there by Brendan Bome. One minute to go here in the power play. Near side boards, looking to break out of the zone. That's Hamilton, far side, stolen away. Sugasawara, a nice back check there. Has Wilson skating in. Wilson, a nice little through pass there from Sugasawara, but it's blocked down. Good job by Fortner. Arkansas trying to steal it away. A hard four check here on the shorthand. 40 seconds to go in the scene, minor penalty. 
for what we believe is roughing or interference. Never know what the call is going to be. This one sent back into the oh, own zone. Odeline on it now. Has a man far side if he wants him. That's LaPlante on the penalty kill. This one sent ahead, tipped into the zone here by Wilson. 24 seconds to go in the UC minor. Fortner on it now. Chipped along. Perez on it. Perez looking to break out of the zone. Perez, far side, has a man waiting on it there is Bratton. Bratton sneaks one along the board. It's going to be picked up behind the net by Odeline, who rattles one along. Doesn't quite clear the zone. Comes to the near side. Now far side, a shot late on just high of the net. Picked up here by Miller. Hunter Miller down low, finds a man. Stick handling on the near side board. That's Perez. Perez lays the pass off, has Ledbetter behind the net. Ledbetter on the puck. Ledbetter looking for a man up top, has him. Another shot there. Through traffic goes well wide of the net. Another shot saved by Dusenka and sent all the way down. This one's going to go down just wide a goal, and that'll be an icing. 7.53 to go in the third period. Good positioning here by Dusenka. Cutting down the angle from the back pass and a nice job getting across his crease to make that save there in Arkansas. Unfortunately, with the icing, as the penalty had expired moments before, but a good save by their goaltender as we have just 7.53 remaining here in the third period. LaPlante banks one off the board. It's going to be picked up here by DBU from the point. Another shot's going to be saved down. 7.46 to go in the third period. 3 to nothing. Arkansas leads. Face off one back here, DBU chips one back towards net. Arkansas able to hold on to the puck. They're going to call a hand pass here. 741. Well, our unfortunately, our favorite hecklers have left the building. <laughs> what a what a period it's been. Look like a couple former Razorbacks here and uh, enjoying their old team. Uh, enjoying the other team more than their own, it felt like at times. Arkansas throwing one towards the net. Believe it or not, this is still a packed house, but we haven't seen a goal since, uh, I guess, early in the second period, so not a whole lot to cheer for. And I mentioned earlier the physicality had kind of turned down as well. Not a whole lot of hits, and uh, really it's just kind of a flat game so far. Arkansas does lead it three to nothing though. Yeah, pretty mild crowd as well. Sometimes we see some people come in with a little responsible consumption beforehand and that can turn into some wild times at the ice, but luckily I think it's been pretty tame for the most part. The loudest fans just happen to be right in our earphone. Yeah. Arkansas on the puck now. Trying to send this one back across. Ree sends it into the corner. After it there's Borless. Borless. Sticks it back along, throws one towards the net. Rees trying to pick up the puck on the near side. Beckett comes away with it, and that one chipped up and out of play. 6.56 to go. Fans, once again, uh, check out the description below. If you do want to go ahead and give to the GoFundMe that we have, it's just for our broadcast. Like we said, everything goes back into the equipment. Uh, we are trying to uh, upgrade some of the equipment that we've had for a few years now. It's, uh, you know, with all the travel wear and everything, it gets, uh, gets kind of beat up along the way. So we're trying to invest in some new ways to transition some of that as well. And, Make sure that all of it stays safe and that your money's being put to good use. And we can't thank you enough. Your support has gotten us through this as DBU has the puck. Down around the boards now. It's picked up here by Wilson. Wilson lays a pass along. Estrada lost it in his skates. He's back skating right now. The old hidden ball trick as this one's sent all the way down. And that's going to be blown dead for icing. 6.39 to go, third period of action. A little room to move around on the ice. Good crowd on hand for Military Appreciation Night. Always good to see the fans come out and support a good cause. Quick face off one back now, McAtee, a little toe drag move around one, has Sugusawara down low, chip that one over his stick, centering pass, out front, Wilson shot, rebound there, still out front. Here's Sugusawara, he's on the backhanded shot, blocked down and a delayed penalty, finally blown dead. And they'll send a DBU player to the box. Yeah, it looked like Wilson got taken down in front, as you see him there. Takes the shot and a good save by Miller. And just thrown to the ground by Jackson Miller. And he'll head to the box. And Arkansas will go on the power play. Hunter, Jackson, Randy, they're all Millers on the ice. Just a few of them. Wonder if they're related. Hard to say. 
Face off one back here, Arkansas on it. Now it's going to be picked up by McAtee. This one sent back down the ice, all the way down to the paddle of Dusank. Arkansas on the power play here. Haven't had too many opportunities on the power play tonight as Estrada leaves one off here, finds Sugasawara. Sugasawara on the puck. Sugasawara across the blue line. He'll drop pass now. He finds his man, McAtee. McAtee has a man far side. Stick handling move. Little head fake through traffic. This is McAtee high circle. McAtee still on the puck. Down low finds Sugasawara. Looking for a streaking man towards the net. Ops to keep it himself. Outer hash near side circle. Sugasawara. Down low now Estrada. Estrada has a man on the back post. Loads up a pass. Has him there. Loading up the shot. There's Wilson fired wide. Miller not able to get any padding on that one. McAtee with a man right in his hip pocket. That's Hamilton. Dylan Hamilton pressuring the play. 109 to go here in the penalty kill for DBU. Back the other way. This is Estrada on the puck. He gets his pocket picked there by Barrett. And Arkansas has to regroup. Cross ice now picked up here. McAtee on it, near side, finds Sugasawar. Sugasawar into the zone, racing by one defender. He gets pressured by another. That's Hunter Miller who takes him to the ice. Arkansas still on the puck. This is Estrada, a little pass across. Nice job on the back post. Good play there. And I believe that was Bratton. It made the excellent defensive play to keep Arkansas off the scoreboard for a fourth time. Arkansas has been good on both ends of the ice, but DBU is matched. A lot of this pressure, a little tic-tac play out front. Oh, wow. my goodness. That would have been a highlight real goal by the Arkansas Razorbacks. A one-touch give and go. you hardly see that in hockey. As this one's out front, Cruz whiffs on the shot, though. Down below the goal line now, it's going to be picked up here by Hill. Hill sends it all the way down, 12 seconds to go in this power play. Up to the near side now, Cruz on the puck. He'll try to chip it ahead to himself, but it's steered aside. And back the other way, Canavan sends it down. Penalty will expire. We'll have five on five with 4.24 to go in this game. Outlet pass by Odeline, sent all the way down. And Jacob, you've seen with a little bit of steam, they're going to wave off the icing. No icing here. Sent to the far side now, picked up here by Hill. Hill's outlet pass is stymied there by an Arkansas player. Sent back down into the zone. Dusanka, a little bit of happy feet. I think he wants this game to end. 4.06 to go. Donut on the scoreboard for Dusanka so far as Odeline gets upended there on the Inlet play, back the other way comes Avery Smith, a drop pass here, looking for his man, and back the other way comes Yassine. Jacob Yassine, high circle, trying to work his way by, skates in hard on Miller. Boy, if he still had that on his stick, I don't know if he would have stopped. I think Randy Miller can count his lucky stars on that one. Back to the point. Down low now, it's gonna be picked up here by Smith. Smith's outlet pass, hits the stick of his man, and Fabian Perez trying to pick it off the stick of the Arkansas defenseman. Nice little back check here by McAtee. Gets it sticked off of his wood there by Fortner. On the tape now, McAtee far side. Finds his man, stick handling move by Lotz. Able to absorb the check and now Patterson takes it ahead. Patterson into the high slot. Stick handling around a couple, fires a shot. And that one's shouldered out of play. And Patterson has shown a ton of hustle tonight. Yeah, that acceleration from zero to 60 real quick. Able to make it into the zone. He was all alone as a, a man uh, was, was hit at the blue line and unable to join the play. I think that was lots, but able to get that shot away and either hit the shoulder or the head of Randy Miller, but goes up and out of play. So we take a look at Dylan O-line taking a hit, and there's the hit on lots, but Patterson able to pick it up. and Nice play and uh, good positioning by Miller. And it looks like a timeout is called. Not sure if it's DBU to try to figure out something to do in the final three minutes or if it's Arkansas trying to get their team a rest as they uh, try to get their goaltender a nice win. Well, Joseph Dusang is not a stranger to nice wins. He's, you know, it feels like whenever the Arkansas doesn't have the offense, he's able to step up in big moments. But Arkansas this season is a perfect 19-0 when scoring thir three goals and is in a perfect 0-2 when scoring less than three goals. So three is the magic number for Arkansas, and they did hit that tonight. Luckily, I think they only needed the first one so far. Yeah, and we'll see what DBU has in the final uh, 308. We'll see if they entertain pulling a goalie. I don't anticipate they would unless they do get a goal up on the board, but perhaps getting some rest and just talking it over. Saying we got another game here tomorrow. Let's get out of this one safe. Uh, show a little bit of fight at the end of the game and carry some of that momentum into tomorrow's matinee.
Matinee game tomorrow, 3.30 puck drop here at the Jones Center. Same hockey time, same hockey place. 3.05 to go, third period. Another quick whistle here after the timeout. I believe that was DBU's timeout after just multiple defensive icings in this third period. It just feels like sometimes when the legs go, if you can get a team out there for long shifts, it really stops any pressure that they can put on. Another centering pass out front. Patterson shot wide. Borless on the puck again. Borless lays a pass off. It's going to be picked up far side now and back towards the blue line and skating out of the zone. Maybe we spoke too soon. Diving towards the puck is Dusenka. He's got to get back, though. He's still a good 30 feet from goal, and this one comes trickling towards him. Lifted high over one of the stanchions up there. Arkansas on the puck, and that's going to be an offside. My goodness. Boy, shades of Dominic Hasek. That's what I was going to say, my all-time favorite goaltender. As we see that puck just trickle over and racing for it. Dusenka wins the race to the puck as Beckett was trying to get there as well and uh, tripped him up a bit. Definitely hit the puck first and able to hustle back into the net to preserve that zero on the scoreboard for now. Well, Arkansas and out with two and a half to go. A great chance there for DBU was sent aside. Oh, just blowing a tire in his own zone. That was Hunter Miller. Arkansas on it, though. Now McAtee with it. He'll send one towards that. Tipped in front wide of the net. That was McLean. Down in the corner. Now Garcia up to the blue line. Arkansas on the puck again. Settled down by Cruz. He'll just dump it back into the zone. There's a delayed penalty here. Yeah, same spot as the last penalty where Yassine made that hit. This one's going to be Cam McAtee as he got tied up at the blue line. Hey, you see Coach, look at that uh, little trip there. Oh, Coach Val's got a new hat. Yeah, it's nice. Well, Indiana Jones inspired. I like that. Clearly unhappy with the call, though, Coach Val. Uh, there he is. Standing, standing over there. A little smile on his face, but McAtee, McAtee will be out for most of what's left of this game, barring a goal. Coach Val, obviously a vital part of this Arkansas program through their more formidable years, and it feels like now they got some steady coaches behind the bench in Falls and Sims. And you know, a national championship runner-up, a big hit chip on the far side. Another shot blocker to side. My goodness. The intensity's turned up in a 3 to nothing game. Stolen away here is Hunter Miller. A nice stick handling move around. One has a man streaking in front. Couldn't control the puck in time. Back to the point, Bratton. Bratton shot. Fired to the near side. Loading one up is Smith. Blocked down in front by Odeline. Back to the point. Bratton has a man near side. Bratton sends it far side instead. Trickles over the stick of one man. That's Hunter Miller. Alongside him is Avery Smith, and Arkansas takes it away. 1.19 to go in this game, 1.10 left in the penalty. McLean, a drop pass, finds Cruz, throws it towards net, and well wide. So it was blocked aside. The plot over there causing issues right by the DBU bench. This one sent back along LaPlante with some words on his way back to the bench. So he goes off for a change. Your side now. It's going to be picked up here by the Patriots. Into the zone. They got a man streaking far side. That's Austin Hill. He's going to challenge Deskier for it. Nice little ole move by Deskier. Chops it along for Sugasawara. Sugasawara, Deskier in the corner. Finally dragged away there by Barrett. Barrett on the puck near side. Tries to whistle one in front. Boy, the rebound was there. A couple of skates could have knocked that one in. Clean sheet still active. In front, Dusenka. Puck rattling around in a quick whistle. Arkansas gets the benefit of it this time. 31 seconds to go. In this game, and Joseph Dusanka able to fight that rush off. Yeah, they're making him earn it here at the end. Arkansas at a disadvantage with McAtee in the box for another 24 seconds. You know, DBU wants to spoil that for Dusanka. Let's see if they have a chance to. Face off one back now, DBU on the puck at the point. 31 seconds, the clock has not started. Arkansas yelling for the clock to start. That's an extra three, six, seven seconds 
And DBU has now. They'll throw one towards net, block the side by Dusenka. 24 seconds to go in this game. Picked up by Suga Suarez. Sent ahead. Can't get it out of the zone. Now does. Here comes Wilson. Wilson, a two on one the other way. Turn back the other way. Here comes Beckett. Beckett around one man. 14 seconds to go in this period. And, and this game. They're just playing for pride at this point, trying to ruin the clean sheet. Penalty is over, sent ahead on the stick of McAtee on the breakaway, tries to send one home and send the fans off, but the time will expire and the extra time didn't matter and Arkansas takes this one three to nothing. Arkansas Razorbacks came in as favorites in this game, but Dallas Baptist always putting up a fight, and it's nice to see another rivalry forming for this D3 Arkansas team. Yeah, absolutely. DBU had their chances, but really uh, it was all Arkansas for the majority of this game, able to put up three goals, and really only needed one as Joseph Tusenka earns his second shutout of the year. Unable to get one last year. And now he's got multiple here in this 2021-2022 season. Yeah, Joseph Dusanka, I mean, you can't say enough about what this Arkansas team is doing right now in the Maca South. We'll see how it translates. They're number two in the nation right now behind Hope, who was undefeated coming into this semester. The last ranking had Arkansas number two whenever they were 19 and one is their official record since that Oklahoma loss doesn't technically count. But uh, yeah, Arkansas in the military uniform is gonna take a quick picture at center ice. A little bit of memorabilia as those uh, uniforms will come off their backs and into the hands of the lucky fans that were able to win that raffle. Yeah, I thought about buying one of those, but I think my wife had other thoughts. So unfortunately, I'll have to wait till next time. Well, Arkansas able to take this one tomorrow at 3.30. They'll run it back for another matchup between the Arkansas Razorbacks and the DBU Patriots. The final score tonight, 3 to nothing, and Arkansas was your victor. For Matt Martins and Lauren McLean and Corey Porter, my name's E.J. Sanders. So long from the Jones Center.